God damn, their boot up sad. Oh, they're classic. That retro piece is too. Oh. <laughs> Only the best shit in cards in the world. Yeah, because everyone used it as a. It's a fucking DVD player back in the day. <laughs> Is it really okay to delete the save data? Yes. I've never played the game before. I promise. It's just because this is someone else's PS2 like bought a long time ago. Delete completed. Thank you. <laughs> Shoney, Ishi, buddy. Everyone is buying a console because it to use it as a DVD player. <gasps> I did, but this one is just I have multiple, I have many PS2s. This is just the one that so happened to be plugged in. Jesus, it's so loud! What the fuck? <laughs> what did you say, Leo? I didn't hear you. <laughs> okay, I'm awake now. Hello. What is happening? This looks like the intro to a TV show. Bro, what in the sitcom is this? What's happening? I, I think I got the wrong copy or something. What, what's happening? Silent Hill, the sitcom. <laughs> yeah, I think I got the wrong version here. It's just like we're watching like a trip you video to the game. Or, like someone made on YouTube. <laughs> Next time with Silent Hill. Previously on Silent Hill. Yeah, I was just about to say that. They're like spoiling everything. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of hard to spoil anything when you don't know what the fuck's going on, to be honest. So what in the world did we just see? Good game. Clap. That was it, gentlemen. Right, let's move on to Silent Hill 4. Holy shit. I, I see why people like this now. <laughs> English. Yo, subtitles are on by default. Pog. Brightness max level is seven. And seven all all the ones we played so far. I think I had it on four. Vibration. Normal. Hard. Off. Soft. 
<laughs> Can I have soft vibration? Am I... I find that so funny you can change the vibration settings. <laughs> yeah. Hard. Give me that hard vibration level. Oh, yeah. I'll just do normal. Man. Uh, <laughs> it's like these Silent Hill games. They get louder and louder for every game. I had, to, I had to lower the volume even lower for this one. Competitive 2. Yes, please. Oh, so that's good to hear, Gov. <laughs> that you managed to escape the birthday party. Good chill. Yeah, I think it I think it confirmed everything. Well here we go. New game. That doesn't say Lin Hill 2, but like I'm so happy you can pick the difficulty of the riddles. That's really something they gotta bring back now. In modern day games. Especially all those PlayStation games. Where if you don't solve the puzzle in like 30 seconds, the game just tells you how to do it. This should really bring this back. It's so nice you can pick the difficulty of the puzzle. <laughs> you have the internet. Yeah, that's that 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 is true. That might also be a reason why they have the game backseat you after like 30 seconds, because they're just like, oh <laughs> the player's just gonna look up the solution on YouTube anyways, so might as well give them the solution. <laughs> to save the save them the trouble. I mean then at that point, why even have the puzzle? <laughs> why I even have the puzzle at that point? If we're just gonna give the player the solution. Still, I would love for this to come back. Pick difficulty for riddles with puzzles and such. I would love for that to come back, especially yeah, in PlayStation games. Where they just backseat you after 30 seconds if you haven't done the thing. Either way, we'll pick normal. Normal, normal, like we've done in all the games so far. Here we go. God of War much. Not even that. Every PlayStation game. Spider-Man, Uncharted, Last of Us. All of them. Every single, like, quote-unquote PlayStation exclusive game. They all backseat you. <laughs> Bonk, a jump scare. Okay, now it's quiet again. There you Park. <laughs> it's him, it's the rabbit. The rabbit from GBD. Where am I? Jesus Christ, DVD again. Yeah, look, it's the guy from DVD. It's Robbie. Rabbit doll. There's a costume. There's some, someone in there? Looks like there is, but I don't feel like making sure. Oh, that's pretty eerie. <laughs> hey, uh, Leo, uh, I think you should lay off the DVD and go, go take a shower, okay? Yeah, uh, maybe go outside and, and get some fresh air too. You know, just you know, just, you know, just want to make sure you're okay. 
<laughs> Bad comment. Had too much peach at the fur car and people fat. You know, he's just, you know, chilling out here. Resting up after all the pizza because I mean look at it. Look at all the, the tomato. Tomato sauce in his mouth. He even spit he even spilled some of his overalls. He's just chilling here, man. Yeah, there's probably a fur con nearby. So he's just chilling out here. Don't worry about him. He's fine. The rabbit is scaring you. He is. I wanna give him a hug. another one here he's out cold wait is his head on backwards it's a giant rabbit costume why would this be here what's this nothing strange is in a cagey box thing person not quite i don't really want to stare at it for very long whatever it is <laughs> definitely a fur con Definitely. Oh, it's definitely a fur card nearby. <laughs> Huge map signboard. To the north, that is, if I keep going the way I'm facing, but in the roller coaster. This is an amusement park? No, I think it's a zoo. Trying to open the inventory. Oh, well, they have. What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? She came prepared, man. She's packing a knife, a steel pipe. A handgun and an Uzi. What the fuck? Why does she already have this? God damn. Lady came prepared. Like the rock shot, cool. How does the game look? Is it, is it does it look dark? Can, can we see what's happening? Or do we need to turn up the brightness? Yep, can we see? <laughs> can we see anything with my doctor? Or is it too dark? And he's on the floor. Oh, this is a different guy. The guy that ate the pizza is still over here chilling on the bench. The one on the floor, he's a different one. There's two. Yeah, he's just chilling on the floor. Hold on. Let me see. If I can mess with the brightness here a bit. Did that help? Was that what did that? I think that helped a little bit. Yeah, that looks a bit brighter now. Do you have too much to drink or something? Yeah, this guy he had uh, he had too much of the good stuff, you know? He's he's out on the floor high up in the clouds, you know. He he just had too much of the good stuff. Meanwhile, the other one just had too much pizza. He's just being people fat on the bench. Oh, and there's a fruit guy over here. He, he also had too much of the good stuff, it seems.
It's a popcorn wagon, but no one's here to sell it. Where'd they go? Well, that means it's free. It's a giant rabbit costume. Why would it be? You couldn't make it to the bathroom in time. Wait, there's another one here. <laughs> he also had too much of the good stuff. We're gonna die to the dog. Run! The lock is broken, I can't open it. Wait, what the fuck is that? Jesus. I don't think she has any heals, does she? Oh, she does. Uh, I, don't, I think I can take another hit. <laughs> Doesn't look like we're too low health. You know, so... I don't know, I, I can't quite remember. <laughs> can't remember how you take down the electricity things. Without losing health. It's been a while. Yeah, this is perfectly fine. I'm trapped in the staircase. This is fine. I think I can tank another hit. It's not on red health. <laughs> I'm actually trapped here. Well, I guess this is all life now. Send the torpedoes back. Oh my god, he moved out of the way. Well, excuse me. May I heal there? Everything is fucking locked. What is this? Excuse me. Is that not a door? Oh, fine. <laughs> we found the correct door. There's a rabbit stuffed animal here. I thought those were health bottles. The boxes of cookies and chocolate in this place. I love this kind of stuff, but I don't feel like eating it here now. Wait, what did she say? There's some normal souvenir type toys here. I never thought I'd say normal in a place like this.
There are also different styles, but I don't really want any of them. Getting out of this nasty place. If they had any tools now, that would be a different story. <coughs> She's casually going shopping now. So rower shirts for sale. I don't think they'll help me at all. Maybe they'll help you blend in. That's another rapid. So rapid stuffed animal here. The mouth part is stained red. Almost like blood stains. Disgusting. Candy. Oh. Also different stars. Oh. Same thing she said on the other side. There's some novice. That's also what she said before. Take the plushie with you. Rabbit stuffed animal. I guess it's just a magazine. Order was an item. They blew up into your mouth. Rip. Gotta, gotta go fast. Well, that's nice. At least you found out the way to do it. That's what she said before. What? <laughs> Which door do they get in through? <clears throat> the lock is broken. I hate to open the door. I think that's the door I came through, so... This one? Wait, wasn't that door here? There's only three doors. <laughs> the one I came in through? And then the two that are locked? Oh, I guess. But there was another one. You're telling me I'm going back out in the, into that shit show, are you? Who knows, maybe it'll be gone, I guess. They are definitely not gone. Strange of this room, uh, not room. Souvenir building is just here that we can go in, but there's nothing in here. That seems rather strange.
Oh, it's a hat. <laughs> a hat with the rapids. I thought it was a frog hat. Really? That's weird. <laughs> There's nothing in here. Wow, what a warm welcome. If we die here, it doesn't really matter too much. This is just the beginning. Can we could do it over. Oh. Wait, this is also where we started. There is. Jump down the hole. That right there to the right is the super near thing. Excuse me. Oh, and that's the place where we got trapped. I was also walking. Oh, that right there is probably this. Yeah, it's probably that wooden door right there next to the gate. Solid start. Oh. Oh, wait, was it supposed to happen? Well, if it was supposed to happen, then I still want to do it over and keep my heels. It was just a bad dream. What a nightmare. Oh my gosh, she was that happy burger. Oh, the place we had to visit in the second game. <laughs> Dad, it's me. Happy, happy, humble. Yeah. Sorry I didn't call sooner. Yeah, I guess I was. Anyway, I'm coming home now. Oh, I didn't get that thing you asked me to. Okay. <laughs> okay, I will. I love you too, Dad. Heather, I need to speak with you. My name is Douglas Carter. I'm a detective. A detective? <laughs> no! Well, nice talking to you. Uh. Hold on. There's someone that wants to meet you. Just let me have an hour. No half an hour of your time. 
My daddy always told me not to talk to strangers. This is very important. It's about your birth. I'm not interested. Are you still following me? Do I have to scream? Sorry. I'll wait here. <laughs> hey, Mr. Junior with the raid. Appreciate the raid, Mr. Junior. How did Silent Hill 4 go? Me and all that pimp master. Welcome, welcome. For the beginning. Silent Hill 3. Uh, fucking weird. I believe it. It made me pause. Let's see here. I want to. Well, since we were supposed to die, can we do this over? I don't want to look at the bottom button config. Get me out of here. You know, I want to. I want to do it over. So I want to do it over if it means I can keep my heels. Although I guess it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, we'll just keep going. Not like we're on hard or anything. Hey, give me this pendant on my birthday. What do my treasured belongings? The jewel inside, like a little red tablet. When I asked dad what it was, he said, just a lucky charm. Then he told me to take good care of it and never take it off. Be back in a bit. I see you in a bit, Mr. Junior. My front door key. Okay. Yo, you're gonna go for a little walk? Yeah, that sounds nice. Nice and relaxing. And enjoy your walk, Mr. Junior. This fucking music. Makes me feel like we're, I don't know. Not playing a horror game, we're playing a chill, cozy, bombing game or something. I don't like mirrors. Wait. Fuck, I accidentally skipped it. Oh, uh, well, we may never know what she said. Wow, what a rebel. Escapes up through the window. I guess this is the save point. The mark on this mirror, it looks so familiar somehow. What do I know it from? Where, where did I once see it? And why does my head hurt so much when I try to remember it? That is some 40 save files? Oh my god. <laughs> well, I'll take, uh, I'll take save file number... Number 27, thank you. <laughs> Three, oh, yo! It's the, it's the year 2000, chat. It's the 3rd of March 2000, look at that, Pog! <laughs> It shouldn't even be possible. The game's not even out yet. <laughs> 27. Why not 32? Now, that is a good question. I don't know. I just... I, I felt lucky on number 27. That's all. That get out of here. Oops. Okay. If I click on the door, is she going to say something? That weak detective is out there, so I'm not leaving. Man, what a wild ride this must have been back in the day. You know, back before the internet. I mean, the internet was alive back then, but you know. Not everyone had it and not everyone used it. Like, what a wild ride this must have been when these games were new. These crazy, wild, cryptic horror games like Silent Hill. What a, what a wild ride that must have been. 
I was blocked with empty box and stuff. I can't get it for Unfortunately, I was, a too, I, was, I was a bit too young back then. Oh, well, I just really wasn't into horror games back then, so I didn't know what it was like when these games were new. But I can just imagine how wild of a ride that must have been with these games back then. Oh, you just completed the game. Nice. Nice one, Bloxy. No wonder. <laughs> no wonder it was being a difficult fight. The shark's fucking dead. Not the shark. Shark's fucking dead, man. Old stuff. There's a lot of stuff posted up, but nothing useful. I like it all in open because I just leave it alone. All the doors are probably black. Yeah. What happened to the mall? Who the hell's talking? She just walked into the abandoned part of the mall. What are we looking at? Is that it's a mouth? Jesus. Stay back. Get the hell away from me. I don't think it understands English. <laughs> yeah, try Latin. Uh, the bullets worked. Try Latin. If I, if I understand Latin. Can you hear me? Hey, Betty. Lord, what the hell is this thing? Thank you, Justin. Teaching Cheryl some Latin. Definitely not human. Never heard of such an animal. No way it is a costume. Sounds crazy, but when you say it, but monster is the only word for it. But I don't think I'm crazy. Maybe you are. It's not that I hate clothes, but this isn't the time or place. <laughs> what do you mean? This is a perfect time to go clothing shopping. Right after you killed that. 
demon hell spawn. Hear me. Hey, Betty. John Wick 12-12. Oh my god. The grand return of John Wick 12-12. I think I'm the sharp cat and it particularly catches my eye. Did you really use all your bullets? Yeah, if I bullet progressed while you're at it, Cheryl. I did use all the bullets. I know it's terrible, but I just love walking around with this. <laughs> what? Of course, this is the first time I've used it against anything living. Can you hear me? Hey, Betty. Be home, John. With she loves walking around with a knife. Crazy, Cheryl. Oh, I'm John Wick. Cheryl Wick. Why is the handgun ammo in the clothing shop? I mean, I know it's America and all, but come on, man. Really? <laughs> There's a dressing room. I need to go in there. I wish I had my pipe. I wonder how effective this knife is. Can you hear me? Hey, Betty. Pick out a dress for La Chonk Leo. The chunk? You want me to pick out a dress for the chunk? <laughs> there isn't really many dresses to pick from. You got three here. Which one would shoot the chunk? The black and white dotted one? The red top with the blue skirt? Or the more flowery design? <laughs> hmm. Which one would compliment LeChunk the most? <laughs> yes, I'll take them all, please. <laughs> yes, I'll take them all. Thank you. Oh, uh, okay, I'll be sure that works. Buy them all at the same time. All three of them. Do we have enough for everyone? Oh, shit. Wait, I didn't know it was for LeChunk's whole gang. This whole family, uh, I think we might only have one pair of each, so, uh, might have to joggle them between all of them. And that, that one might be a little bit difficult. Although I think there's a few leftovers on the shelf. Yeah. There's a few leftovers on the shelf that you can fight between. That the rest of the LeChunks can fight between. Yep, fight you to death over the leftover dresses. It's unlocked. What? Oh, oh hi. Take me back there. There's a map. Glorious. Got the shopping mall map. You love the LeChunk law, man. It's great. I agree. The LeChunk law is fantastic. The best law in any video game. The LeChunk law. Also, Jesus Christ. <laughs> there is a lot to go through here. But the most of it might be blocked off. Uh... Right, so that's the outside there. Okay, well, I mean, 
keep seeing what's around here. Push the button real, they won't come. Is it broken or something? Everything's locked. Is that all the doors here? It is. Okay. Well, to the second floor we go. We have to get through here with all the boxes and pallets. Are you serious? It's just boxes. It's, it's just cardboard boxes. Yeah, you can move them, right? It's not like they're made out of concrete. Who's there? Yo, the fucking music. That's it. Oh, hold on. I don't trust the knife. <laughs> I don't trust the knife. Give me the handgun. Heads up. Hey, hey, camera, why won't you turn? Wait, what the? <laughs> what is that little guy? This is a horrible idea trying to use the knife, probably. Ow. <laughs> I don't know. What is this little guy? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it, I don't think it should be using the knife. There is a more. Yeah, the music's going on now. <laughs> a little silly monster. A lot of stuff posted up here, but nothing useful. An SCP. I don't feel confident with the knife. If I had my pipe, no, that'd be another story. Fuck, the door's open. Did that say that? Was that something different? The lock is broken. Hands up. Not afraid to use this thing. How much ammo do I have? <laughs> what? <laughs> I got a beef jerky. Beef jerky. Processed dried and meat. Sometimes it's just enough to distract enemies. Got four of them. Equip. <laughs> 
It's meant for dogs, so I think I'll pass. It says use, what she can eat it? I have beef jerky equipped. The hell does that mean? <laughs> the hell does that mean that I have beef jerky equipped? I want to equip that. Did, that was something on the doggo. I thought this stuff, but none of it really looks like it'd be any useful. Wasn't wasn't he sniffing something? If it was beef jerky, he was sniffing. What a strange triangular room. Uh, <laughs> which way? That's this way. <laughs> what was that noise? Man, the sound design of these games are fucking incredible. Sound like someone was walking. I thought that was in real life. That was scary. Something's falling between the table and the floor. And I think it might be key. My arms are a little longer. I might be able to reach it. There's a huge pile of cardboard box on the table. Or box. Books. But too much of a pain to move something that heavy. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, that does seem like a lot. Like a magic circle, I remember reading about in the book on black magic. Does this seem so familiar because I read about it in that book? No, that's not it. Not the book. I'm the altar. Altar? What am I thinking? We'll keep going with save number 27. Save number 27. That's still in the year 2000. We explored all of this now. So now we can head into the main part of the mall. Yeah, so what's up here? Helen's Bakery. Oh, Helen, you got any fresh bread? It's bread. <laughs> I'm not really hungry, so I guess I don't need to worry about it. It's bread. <laughs> infamous bread. The infamous bread meme. Got a pair of tongs. It's bread. The infamous bread meme. Don't mind the wit name, but you fucking blue screened. What? Monk shake. The computer couldn't handle all the Minecraft thing. 
Well, I hope you'll, I hope it'll be able to reboot itself. Oh, you've had too many things running. All PC, man. Hopefully, it'll, oh yeah, hopefully it'll be able to turn on just fine after. You give it a nice little break. There are employees around. I wonder why they all went. They all went to the amusement park. No way your stream is still running even though you blue screened. It's bread. Oh, so that means uh, you managed to turn it on again. That's at least good. I wonder, is this for getting the key? She's gonna shut down for the night. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Your PC and nice little break. Sounds like it might need it. Wait, you had it running for three days, not turning it off? That sound was still... It updated. Is it on like Windows 11 now? Big pair. Tweets are like tongs for grabbing bread. It is for the key. Now, what's the key for? Got the key taken with tongs. That's the name of the key, huh? Okay. But you leave the toes at Leo Farms. That's how you left it on for three days. Oh, yeah. Okay, see, I see. You could farm those Scooby Sips. Absolute madman. This key was dropped in the storeroom. I used the tongs to get it. There's a tag on the key that says, My Best Sellers. My best sellers. Combine that with <laughs> Combine that with the beef jerky. I'm sure that's the solution. Uh, no, wait. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she just plays the beef jerky on the ground. Leaving my calling card. You know that I solved the puzzle. My calling card. Beef jerky. I always leave it at every crime scene. I just forgot to shut down. It's all good. It's all good. Gotta, gotta get those Scooby sips somehow. Why is it beef jerky? I don't. I'm guessing you're supposed to use that to distract the enemies, but you can. Hey, there you go, beef jerky. Processed dried meat. Sometimes it's just enough to distract enemies. It's meant for dogs, I think I'll pass. Hey, man. There's beef jerky in that room. Trust me, go in there. Go in there and have a feast. I left the beef jerky for you guys. Eat the jerky. Oh man, I wish. She doesn't want to though. 
I can equip it, whatever that means. But yeah, she's just not gonna eat it. Since it's meant for dogs. Oh, is that what the key was used for? Seems like it. I can see it's on the shelf. Some of them look interesting, but it's really not the time for that. Eat the jerky, woman. When I first picked it up, I thought maybe it, I would be able to heal with it, but no. I guess it's just meant to be that way to distract enemies. Top sellers. Now that books are very interesting. Just the kind that I could buy anywhere. Whoa. Shots fired against the best sellers. It's locked. I right, watched me five hit this shit. The code is seven. Wait, does it even click? Code is seven, three, four, nine, two. Easy. Never mind. Eight, 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 eight. <laughs> eight, 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 eight. Code is a wong ass. Carly, you got this. I believe in you. I've seen you five hit shit like this before. You got this. I mean, you're not wrong. That's that's what happened when we played White Day. Can you hear me? Return of a Mong Unicorn. What? <laughs> Return of a Mong Unicorn. Thank you, Justin. We love being among unicorns. Wish I had the sound effect. The Among Us sound effect? Oh god, definitely not. The code is 6,940. That's the code, 6940. Imagine if it actually was. Imagine, SpongeBob, just imagine. 6942.0. Oh, you actually fell for it? I was just like, might as well try it. Why not? Why not? Just for comedy purposes. Ha, huh, he did the funny. That's Shakespeare Anthology 2. 3. 5. Uh, who's ready to read some Shakespeare, gentlemen? Can you hear me? Hey, Betty. Ha 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 What? Oh no, that was such a sick beat. Keep it going, Justin. <laughs> the hob beat. By Justin. It was on the floor at the bookstore. It should be a book, just like it says. But it says on all of them. Yeah, let me combine the book with beef jerky. Uh, 
Oh, is this how we get the code? Well, the last one seems to be seven. That seems to be a two. That looks like that. Wait, how many fucking numbers is this code? <laughs> I just assumed it was four. Is it more? It might be more. Isn't it four? But I'm just thinking. Yeah, so well, the last one's definitely seven. Let me write that down. <laughs> it's just so easy for me to memorize. It's folly. You just dumb. Sounds about right. Yeah, and then the first one's definitely seems to be a two. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm and then that seems like it combines with the two. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. And then that looks to be a nine. Where, where do we find the rest of the nine, if that is a nine? Wait, which one is a nine? This one. Four. The rest are all nuts so much. Oh, you actually got this one, like, pretty easily? Nice. You used all your five hit powers in this one. That long stick is the rest of the nine. <laughs> that one? Can you hear me? <laughs> Mr. Kekon, I have a good time again. Okay, so wait, hold on, let me also write this down. So this is two. And then what was the other one? Was it five? It's three. Okay, so two and three. We have those. Oh, those books don't need to look at. Everything else. Okay, and... Which one was it that had the two? The fuck did you get three? <laughs> no, not the number three, like, as in the code. Like, the code involves three, but, like... You see, six, Shakespeare and followed you three. That's the one that has the two on it. So, like, I'm writing down three to... You know, remember that we don't have to look at free anymore. We don't have to look at book number free anymore. So just to make it easier to see which ones we have left to look at. Thank God, I thought you were actually fucking stupid there for a second. I was about to question everything. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, don't worry, it's fine. I'm not that stupid, okay? I'm not that foolish, don't worry. I'm not that stupid. I am somewhat smart. I am somewhat of a five head. Right, but, um, but yeah, so, but which one was it that had the half of the two and the nine? That's four. That's four. Wait, four. Which is two. And then we're saying that might be a nine, right? So then we have to find the rest of the nine, which would be on five. Five or one. Which I guess would be this here. But if that's the nine, two nine zero seven, is it two nine zero seven? Let me do my thing, okay? You guessed it on this. Oh. 
Oh my god, no, not Uncle Knox. Get out of here, Uncle Knox. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, not that one. Number four. That nine or whatever it is. Try with Uncle Knox, man. He, he, he creeps me out. Uncle Knox creeps me out. Wait, it might not be a nine. It might be a zero. Hmm. Okay, let's see here. So... <laughs> I shall love Uncle Dogs. Fucking okay, Uncle Dogs, man. I don't know, it just seem to be lining up. I guess it doesn't have to line up. I actually combine them. Did that even do anything? No, I don't think so. The chunk. No, see, that's more like it. we love the chunk. The chunk is like the unofficial mascot. The second, the second unofficial mascot. Stop combining. Yeah, that thing that's the nice of the two really really doesn't add up on any of them. Oh wait, no, it lines up with that. That's a funny looking nine. If we go with nine, hold on. And then yes, zero seven. All right, let's try that. I should wait. Is there anything else in here? Copy that. What do we say? We said two nine zero seven. It's unlocked. Hey, yeah, because that was a nine. That was a that is a strange looking nine I've ever seen. It looked like a P. But you're spoiling the, the fourth game. But that is a, a, a strange solution. Mm. Yeah, sure, let's go in here. What's well, the worst that could happen? Fair is foul and foul is fair. Put these books out of order. What? No. Oh, that's, that's supposed to be a hint for the parcel I just did, but 
I just wanted to open the door. Um, hey, wait. What's going on? Where is everybody? Those weird monsters? You have come to witness the beginning. The rebirth of paradise. Despoiled by mankind. What are you talking about? Don't you know? Your power is needed. How should I know? I am Claudia. So what? <coughs> Remember me. And your true self as well. Also, that which you must become. The one who will lead us to paradise with blood-stained hands. Claudia, right? Did you do all this? It was the hand of God. <laughs> Not like this. Wait. Yeah, I'll turn it right down. Not like this. I don't get it. What does she want me to remember? Your homework. Everything is locked. Wait, so where are we now? That takes us back in here. Park bones. What are we pog boning about? Is that another lock? No, no. Over. What is happening? He's summoning Satan. The elevator works now. Very cool lasagna loading screen. Do I have to pick a floor or are you just taking me? Uh, you, you're just taking me. Roger that. Radio, what the hell's this? Can we fall you down from the ceiling? Anyway, I guess that explains the static just before. It's all but all it's picking up is static. I don't know if it's broken. Let me get it anyways. My radio now. Was that? It's a dream? It's gotta be. What the hell are we looking at? <laughs> Ascending further into hell. 
I'm gonna visit death. Do I have a map? Oh my god, my map still works. What is happening? Someone's having a feast. Ow. Get, get out of my way. Excuse me. Wait, do I, does she not have the flashlight yet? Oh, it helps drinks. I don't think she has a flashlight. No, she hasn't. We haven't gotten that yet. Oh, it's so fucking dark in here. Oh, is that the Omega buff heal? It's a romance novel. I can't be bothered with it now. <laughs> you can't be bothered with the romance novel, but you could be bothered with all the Shakespeare books. I don't like there's anything useful on the shelf. Oh, is this a save point? The bed is stained, dark red. Whose blood is this? Is there someone here apart from that woman? This again. Looking at it makes my head hurt, but at the same time, it's like so familiar. I know I've forgotten something really important. But I also have the feeling that I'd be better off not remembering it. Back to Save Files 27. Our favorite. 57 minutes. Have you already played this for 57 minutes? I don't even feel like it's been that long. But I guess we have been here for almost two hours already. What the? He knocked me over. Ow. I have to check every door. Better complete the map. No, I forgot a door. I got many doors, actually. Back in we go. Probably all locked. I, hold on, time, time, time out, dog. Time out. I gotta look at my map. Hmm. Right, I'll check the other way. Wait, the other dog will stop following. Oh yeah, you out of stamina. You just call for backup. Well, okay. <laughs> that was not worth it whatsoever to go back in, but I got all the doors crossed up in the mini map. Now that's what counts. That's what we were here for. Now get the fuck out of here. Preferably without getting hit.
Wow, I didn't know it was that bad. That's unfortunate when the main game is so good. What the hell did I click on? Can't see shit, chief. What? A ladder. Ladder's hanging halfway down to the ceiling. Even if I stand on the table and stretch my hands out, I can't even reach it. If only I had something long to snack it. All right, so when I go out, where the hell did we go from there? It was the phone. I guess we could go back around there. Yeah, I head to the left. Wait, that was the door right there. Hey, you guys. Don't mind me. You guys want any beef jerky? There's a horrible idea to be here. Gentlemen. Please. Out of the way. Morning. We're leaving the room. Be sure to turn out the lights. It'll be obvious. Then I switched off. Already 10%. Sounds like it might be a pretty short one. Is that something? <gasps> hey, flashlight. How much ammo do we have at this point? 42, pretty good. Autumn with the raid. Appreciate the raid, Autumn. Welcome, welcome to some Silent Hill free. To some, right now we're shopping in the shopping mall. Looking for more beef jerky. Hello, Autumn. Appreciate the raid. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. Everyone from Autumn stream. And I appreciate the follow as well. Right, rapid. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. You know the aura. Welcome as well. well. How am I liking the game? I mean, we're still only like an hour into the game. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! <laughs> the madman. The five gifted passport. Jesus. Absolute psycho. <laughs> Handing out five Danish passports like it's no big deal. Oh, now that's gonna go off. <laughs> For a little bit, <laughs> the Danish national anthem. 
I was trying to say what I was going to say, but yeah, we're only like an hour into the game. And well, so far, so far I'm liking it. So far it's pretty alright. Nothing too crazy has happened yet. Yeah, but that, we're still only in the beginning. Slowly getting into it. Yeah, so far it's pretty cozy. We actually have one of our episodes streaming. Yeah, we got it. We'll probably be here for like, I don't know, the next five hours or so. So we'll, we'll be here for a good amount. But now we salute though to the Danish national anthem. I think that was one more, right? Was that the last one? Oh, yeah, that, I think that's the last one. Salute, Cheryl. <laughs> Salute to the end from Devin. Good question. I have no idea why that's there. What? Wait, why is that even there? Why is there a message with the gift sub? That I've never seen that before. Returns not found. What? I've never. That's weird. I've a cursed Twitch user. I've ne I've never seen the sub message in a gift sub. That that's strange. Either way, hey, appreciate it once again though, Boxy. They're very very generous. Five gifted passports. Appreciate it. Ah, but you were also playing this autumn. You were also playing Silent Hill Three. Did you finish it? And yeah, we before this we played Silent Hill 1 and 2. Because yeah, right now we're having a little Silent Hill marathon. Playing through 1, 2, 3, and 4. Yeah, we played uh, 1 and 2 before this. And I really like the first one. That one's probably my favorite so far. And also... Appreciate the follow as well, Ari. Appreciate it. The fourth one is your favorite. I'm like, that's actually the one I'm the most looking forward to play. Because I think, I don't know much about it, but I think you're like, most of it's been like an apartment or something like that. I'm looking forward to play that one. We'll, we'll play four right after we finish free. Oh, but I see you're a bit further into this game than I am. Gotcha, gotcha. Wait. What's this? Oh, it's just... It's just the sign. I thought it was a path. Maybe I should turn on the flashlight. Wait, isn't this the other part from earlier? Oh my god. I have no peace to explore. So many enemies. I didn't go that way? No, that was blocked off, wasn't it? It's, but yeah, we're still at the very beginning. We're, we're at the mall. We are at the mall. Shoppers, as if they don't want you in here. 
No, I won't we'll give you that idea. <laughs> yeah, you know. It's almost like I'm not welcome to you. You know, I can't go that way. There's a wall. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm just trying to buy some bread. There were three doors I didn't get to check here. Ah, you couldn't find the first Silent Hill at the time, I see. Well, have you gotten around to, to playing it? The first one? I walked right into that. Oh, there was a door here. Wait, this is just a staircase. A funny looking staircase. I got bleach. What? <laughs> what am I gonna do with that? Oh. Yeah, I think this is the bathroom. She escaped from in the beginning. Yep, yep, yep. I just wanted to see the aliens, officer, please. I'm sorry I hopped the fence, but I just, I just wanted to see the aliens, that's all. All that explanation. Yeah, the first, the first time I held is on PlayStation One. It is on PS One, but if you have a PS Three, you can buy it. You can get it on the PlayStation Store. If you have a PS Three. Full of filth, muddy water. Looks like something's stopping it up. So you've removed the blockage. Ew. Go for it. Oh, forget it. This is way too gross. <laughs> even think of doing something so disgusting <laughs> what the fuck the way she looked into the camera after that too what this truly feels like a sitcom or something what <laughs> she's about to do that turns around says that looks into the camera and then the laugh track plays what is happening That's good to know. She's not as disgusting as James in the second game. Who just stuffed his hand into the toilet, no questions asked. Someone actually in there. <laughs> Friend, let's communicate. You're letting me in? You have something for me, friend? What the? <laughs> oh, uh. Damn, alright, I see. Rough night, huh? Rough night at Taco Bell, I see. Soaking with blood, but there's no one here. Someone respond, or is it just me? He's just going crazy. A lot of stuff you use to clean a toilet. I think I have the same kind at home. This is specifically toilet, huh? The bottle says danger, do not mix. You're on the toilet. Yes, yeah, so I hear. We don't have Taco Bell here, so... I've never tried it myself, but... Yeah, I always hear about the aftermath of the people that have tried it. We love the PS3. We do. The PS3 is great. Can't use that. Oh. 
about on the bloodstained toilet. But yeah, go for it. Wait, wrap it. Hook up your old PS3. Then, yeah, you can buy the game on, uh, on the PS3 PlayStation Store. Well, I guess I can't use it on the toilet. It's down here. Can't be legally called foo. Is it that bad? Is it really that bad? God damn. JK, I was about to say, like, damn. Talk about really that bad, huh? Alright, that's true. I never thought about that. Yeah, if the body reacts like that to the food, then I want to start questioning if, the, if there's something wrong with the food. Or if it even is food. Okay, so what do what do we have on us here? I have a whole bunch of Shakespeare books, some bleach, and beef jerky. Mm. Kind of want to go save. Yeah. Let's see if we can get the save point without getting smacked into another dimension. Cliff reactor food. So Taco Bell is. I'd believe it. I'd believe it. Hey, we got here without getting hit. Sweet. Yeah, there you go. That, now, I've, now I'll feel a lot safer. Save on 28. Taco Bell is hangover food. Yeah. I guess that might be the only thing it's good for. Testing what humans will be willing to eat. See how far they can take it. Or the humans are just like, no, you know what? We draw, a, this is where we draw a line. Nope. Not anymore. Alright, well, let's see if I can explore the rest of the mall. Be close to it. They'll eat anything. <laughs> they put the little garbage in the in the tacos, and they still ate it. Never mind. <laughs> no exploring the rest of the mall. Okay, well then. I didn't check the elevator. I just assume the elevator doesn't work. Oh. Mm, but I can go back into that room now, now that I have a flashlight. If we maybe missed anything. Not that we can see. There isn't really that much to see though. Still need a long thing for that. Hmm. I thought that was a person. 
sitting in the corner. There's a thing going to say, okay. Yeah, no, and this door is blocked over here. <laughs> where, where are we going? Wait, that is a door? The door isn't shown on the map, though. Scam. Did I miss any other doors? I don't think so. Wait, where's the other door? <laughs> that was open here. Oh, it's this right here. This is where we found the flashlight. And a whole bunch of ammo. Oh yeah, wait, it's not something about the light here. Can I turn it off? The light switch is on right now. So... If I turn it off and come back in. Did anything change? interesting in the box. Warning, we're leaving the room, be sure to turn off the lights. It'll be obvious if they're not switched off. Really? I, okay. Nothing happened. What if I do it again? <laughs> oh, and then turn on the lights. Magic trick. Now there's something here. Never oh mind, there's nothing. <laughs> right. And then next to us is the bathroom with with the sitcom moment. Uh Hmm. Well, I guess if we could check one more time to see what was in that other area. Wait, I complain about not being able to explore peacefully. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. See, did we miss something in here? I don't think so. That meat on the ground is very suspicious, but I don't think it's anything. <laughs> we did miss something. Oh, yo, it's the clothing store from earlier. Seems like the Le Chunks were here. We were picking out Le Chunks clothes. These clothes are awfully dirty. They're stained with blood splatters. They weren't like this before. What could have happened? The changing rooms are gone too. Not the changing... What is that? What was that suspicious camera angle? Got a hand. <laughs> oh, is that to reach the ladder? Yeah. What was that suspicious camera angle? It's a bit rat sus that is just, you know, specifically pointing at like a hanger. A bit strange. Ah, oh, fucking. <laughs> Not again. Man, that's one thing I love about these games. Those random jump scares like that. Like, they're not really jump scares, it's just random sound that plays sometimes, which I guess can be called the jump scare, but... I love it that it's just sound. <laughs> like, on a random glass breaking or... 
Got that right there. Random door opening. I don't know where. Great, I love that. Random sound jump scares. That's another thing that's really great about these games. Uh, that I really like. This is the eerie soundtrack and <laughs> the eerie background music. An ambient sound. Really creepy. Uh, wait, no, it's over here. Like, you really like the vibe from these games, yeah? The, like, really creepy... Really creepy vibe. You should feel like you're in a horror movie. Now, let's see. Is the hangar really the solution for this? Combine it with the bleach. This combo doesn't make any sense. Really? What makes you say that? Uh, but yeah, I said that when we played Silent Hill 2. Like, yeah, the music in that game. And some of the areas are so fucking creepy. I could see how- I could easily see how some people get spooked. <laughs> like, Silent Hill 2 back in the day. On the CITV, CITV, and then just having that creepy music blasting from the TV. It's been horrifying. All right, we got a hangar now. Maybe the hangers with the toilet? Unclock the toilet with the hanger? Discord. Wait, what happened to Discord? What happened? Ghost notification. Oh. Using toilet. You should ready every. You should ready to unclog your toilet. Toilet grenades. Yeah, no, I thought so. Saw the video. I think we've watched it before. On the stream. Okay, no, I, th I think the hangar is for the ladder. I just gotta find another object to combine it with. Yeah, I think that's really it. I never got to... I, I really want to go check the... The elevator we came from. I want to see if that still works. Chin gun guy. Yeah, I think we've seen it on stream. Long time, uh, some time on a long time ago. <laughs> What's up with the elevator? Yeah, I thought so. I <laughs> thought so, but just to make sure, just so you know. Have that option out of the way. Right, okay. Now, what else is there? 
Ahí. You're confused on the hanger part. What, like, what to do with the hanger? Let me go someplace quiet so I can think. No, and why it didn't work. Oh. Like, why it didn't work on the ladder? Wait, what's this? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, you see, I f I'm pretty sure I have to use it on the ladder, too, but... I I'm guessing I need to find, like, a, a something, like a stick or something to attach the hanger to, because there's a combine option. But... I mean, I could go back and try again, because maybe I just... did it from, like, the wrong angle or something. Oh, I need to, like, be on the table. Because she did mention something about the table, like st standing on the table and then having like a long object. So uh, we, we can go back and try again. So maybe I just, you know, quite close enough or something. Let's not see here. Yeah, she talks about the ladder, so if you see, you open the inventory. Oh, there you go, now it works. Yeah, see? I just did it from like the wrong angle or something. There we go. We got it, we got it. I think I probably did it on like the table or something. That happens all the time. That's been happening to me all the time in these games. And two and three too. I just wasn't close enough to the object or something. Why would something like this be here? This isn't a hospital. Adding on the TV. Can't see anything. I can't hear anything. What was that? I wonder. I thought I heard someone say, Daddy. Interesting channel. Should I be doing this? Ow. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, I think we have a lot of ammo anyways. Yeah, I have a decent one. <laughs> you're standing at the exact right spot, so it won't work. I mean, what? Well, yeah, you're like an inch to the left. Yeah. It's like, I think it's the same like that too with the original Resident Evil games. But yeah, that's also... I think that's also like the main reason why people got stuck in these games back in the day. It's like, what do I do? I have... I've tried everything. But then, yeah, they just weren't standing at the, like, pixel-perfect spot to interact with the thing. <laughs> A bit annoying. There we go. Yeah, that's, like, an easy way to get, st really, to get stuck in these games. 
Because you don't interact with the right thing from the right angle. Or at the right angle. Bunch of dismembered mannequins. What was in here? <laughs> Is it really just that? There's a mannequin arm and a body on the floor in the dressing room. I know it's just a big door, but I'm still downright nasty. Still downright nasty. I can go into this one. But she doesn't want to walk into that one. Okay. Oh, there is another door. I think there's nothing in the dirty cardboard boxes. It's unlocked. Where in the world am I now? All oh, right, so we came from up there. Well, <laughs> I want to go back just to make sure we've looked through it all. I should not be going up here. Because I wanted to check the rest of the floor first. Oh, is that a save point? Oh, sweet. That's not the door I came from, right? No, this is somewhere else. There was a nice silver ring in here the last time I came. Bummer that it's gone, huh? <laughs> what, were you gonna get it? You gonna steal it? We're still there? Got a walnut. <laughs> what? Why do you just pick up a random walnut? This is a good sized walnut from the jeweler's showcase. Something's rattling around inside, but I can't open it with my bare hands. Oh, oh you're still walnut. The walnut that made Nightbutt freak out. Smash it with one of your Shakespeare books. <laughs> Is that it actually? That combo doesn't make any sense. Smash it with the... With the bleach bottle. <laughs> Can you combine anything with the knife? No. Okay. <laughs> well, now we just have a now we just have a walnut on us. This is where the walnut used to be. <laughs> okay.
Alright, so this should also take me back here. Mm -hmm. Wait, I unlock that door. Okay, okay. Alright, well. Let's explore the rest of the hall out here. No, then. Never mind, let's not. There's a hole in the ground. We go downstairs too, is that possible? Is not okay. Uh, hmm. Well, we could go upstairs, but I guess we'll explore this FP first. Even the call button seems to be broken, the door just won't move. Hands up! I'm, I'm not afraid to use this thing! Oh. It's this giant monstrosity. Oh, Wait, that door opens. He said it was locked, <laughs> which means it's I can unlock it later or something. Oh god, wait, where am I? Okay, this one. Is that a door here? Oh yeah, but it's locked. Uh, Missed one door. Uh, uh, right. Wait, I think it's this. Uh, well, that was eventful. <laughs> a whole bunch of locked doors. Well, I guess we'll go upstairs then. What's the worst that could happen up here? Hey, <laughs> was the last word. Oh, what's the worst that could happen up here? Clueless. The restaurant? Just a normal wine glass. Is that much reason to carry this? What if you fancy some wine at some point? Rows of wine bottles. I don't really feel like eating and drinking stuff from an alternate reality, okay? Oh. But she's already realized she's in an alternate reality? Oh, I guess she said she's dreaming. She thinks this is a dream. She doesn't want to go drinking in her dreams. What the fuck? The hell is this? What is this? A barbecued dog? Who the hell would make something like this? Furthermore, who the hell would eat it? There's something in the dog's stomach. I gotta cook the key. Is it gonna wake up? I don't trust it. Cooked key. 
This key was in the barbecue dock at the restaurant. Yuck. Oh, I guess that might be for the door that she said was it locked. Maybe. I could have been so mean and made, make the dog wake up. Who knows, it still might happen. There's a disgusting smell coming from the pot. I think I better keep it away. Please show nothing else of interest. Uh, hmm. What the fuck? What was that noise? Fucking creepy. I, I want to save. I want to I want to try the key on that door that she said was locked. Which What door was that again? I think it was this door. Hey, there you go. I knew it. Now I'm a chef. Master chef. Master chef Heldo. The glasses and plates on the counter. There's nothing really important here. Steel pipe. Yo, oh, my favorite weapon. Now we can save up ammo. Assuming it's just as OP in this game as it was in the second. But more hard to use. <laughs> now you gotta go now, right, Rapid? I right, take care, my good sir. Take care, take care. Thank you. Well, we'll have a good time with this stream. It's always pretty chill and cozy. Doing PS2 streams. And well, yeah, I've been absolutely loving the Silent Hill games, so... We've definitely been for a good time. So yeah, take care. Take care, White Rabbit. Menu on the wall it looks like this was once a cafe. She doesn't like, like she's swinging it. She doesn't like poke it like James does, which is what made that pipe really OP in the second game. So where in the world am I now? Now I'm in like the main center of the of the mall. Right. Oh wow. Wait, isn't this where the bakery was?
Yeah, I think this is where the bakery was. My bread is gone. Turgent. Was that last thing? Is that nothing? actually opens. Where am I now? I see the bakery sink. But it's not for dishes though, it's for the, the bathroom. Bottles has danger, do not mix. Well, they want to mix it with the bleach. Don't know if I want to do that here, though. Kind of want to do that in front of the toilet. Should we backtrack to the bathroom? Oh yeah, it's through that ladder. Backtrack to the bathrooms. Actually, we could save here really quick and then try and combine it and see what happens if, if that's even possible. <laughs> Let's see. Hopefully I don't just die. Oh, maybe it's safe, so... No, okay, I mean, yeah, I can't can combine it, but... Yeah, let's do that in front of the bathroom and then uh, in front of the toilet and then use it. What happens? Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she, she, she does not give a fuck. She just jumped down there. I thought it was just gonna like cut to black and then I don't know, play a ladder sound of her crawling down. Nah, she did not give a fuck. She just jumped down there. She's not wasting any time. Um, wait, hold on. Where are we here? Okay, wait. Let's just down here. Wait, is it? Wait, no. I don't think it is. Is it? No, it's the other way. Let's wait to the toilet. See if this helps. Eh? 
It doesn't. Wait, what about the walnut? <laughs> Damn it, we came all the way back here for nothing. It doesn't work on the toilet. What if I just... What if I just use it by itself? I don't even want to look at it. <laughs> no. What about the other one? Why would we even do with this one? So with the four dancing tag? Well, we're always ballroom dancing. No matter what game we're playing, we're always ballroom dancing. In this game, we're ballroom dancing with all the all the enemies, with all the demon doggos, and other hell spawn enemies. Huh? Take them for a nice little dance. And that's especially the case when we play DBD. Take all the kills for a nice little ballroom dance. No fish in the toilet. If only I still had my hanger. Then we could do some fishing in the toilet. And unclock the toilet. Well, we came all the way back here for nothing, so let's go. Let's just head back. Uh, wait, where am I? Uh, yeah, I found that so funny that James, he does not give a fuck in the second game. He just shoves his hand right in there. He doesn't even question it. He just shoves it right in there, his hand. Meanwhile, Shell is just like, Ew, I don't want to do that. That's fucking disgusting. Who would ever do that? <laughs> While looking directly at the camera where she says that. That's, that's pretty funny. Confirmed. Cheryl's not as disgusting as James. So dark, this game's putting me to sleep. Yeah, this game is very dark. Like, light lighting-wise. A bit hard to see things from time to time. It probably also doesn't help that we're playing on the PS2. Wait, so where were I? Where was I? We yeah, we were on this floor. And we came from the bakery shop. Or we decided to backtrack to the toilet. Can't see shit, chief. But he was blocking it. There we go. Alright, okay. Well, yeah, let's explore the rest of this wall out here. This is the bakery.
Yeah, I, I didn't want to go in here. Well, at least I put the enemy away. It's locked. really isn't a whole lot of things to open here. Did we just go in a circle? Oh, that was fast. Does this take me back to the restaurant? Sure does. Okay, well, then I guess we're going to the bakery and we're going through that other door. The bread is gone. The sass. Right. This is a brand new area. We haven't been here yet. That's not the door. Can I turn it off? Don't know what kind of switch it is, but it's on! Will you turn the switch off? Definitely not. Who knows what that's gonna do? In here too. Oh. Maybe I will turn it off. You know what? Uh, in the second thought, I'll turn it off. Peace and quiet. Now, did that get rid of Batman? Batman is still here. I'm not going any further. It's creepy and dangerous to boot. I have to be away. I can't... Can't very well stab him one by one. Some... Insect... Insect that would do the trick. What? Some of this? Wait, what did it say? That by itself won't do any good. What is it? Is, do we combine it here and then do it? Hey. Wait, where'd you get the bucket from? <laughs> well, I guess we're trying to, Well, then I guess it's a good thing I turned it off. Otherwise, I probably would have fucking murdered myself. Turn it on and kill the bats. Yeah. So now that probably killed all of them and now we turn it off to be able to go back in there. I used this to make gas earlier. Best not just stick my head in too far. Who knows what's left in there? Aha. Uh -huh. Insect and sterminator.
Epi. A door that works. That's a lot of handgun ammo. More beef jerky. That all that's in here? Whole lot of handgun ammo and beef jerky. Looks like it. Another door that works. What in the world? Where even am I now? The fuck is that sound? I was drilling the wall. I like this whole video a lot more. <laughs> it's so peaceful and quiet in here. Is that a door? No, it's just a wall. This is in the hospital. Well, I guess the only way is through that little room. Oh, yeah, and that was the room we found handgun ammo. Wait, why? What is that right there? Well, I guess we'll head through the room. The dark room with the big guy. Hey, man. How's it going? Don't mind me, just passing through. What the hell is happening? Who is drilling? Oh my god, it actually opened. What? What is this? I <laughs> said that stain on the rest on the restrained is shaped like a human. I don't want to even think about what this platform was used for. I don't know, save point. This pattern looks like it could have been drawn in blood. I bet it's some sort of curse symbol. No wonder my head hurts and it feels so awful when I look at it. Save completed. It's a sport shop, apparently. Some interesting spots. They do here. Oh. 
the hell is that? There's a sort of vice here. What? <laughs> what is a vice? Is that for the walnut? It is. Is that an egg? No nut in the walnut shell, just a jewel. Got a moonstone. I get, it's just another fancy word for nutcracker. I see, I see. That is quite the strange looking nutcracker though. Looks like some medieval torture device or something. That is, that is a strange looking nutcracker. It's a type of jewel, not really from the moon. It's inside the walnut somehow. Use or combine. What do we have? I just have a whole bunch of <laughs> Shakespeare books. Combine it with my pendant. That's not gonna do anything. I don't know what that would do. Well, we have that now. Uh. <clears throat> well, since I just did that, let's save again. Why not? <laughs> kind of looks like a face on the wall. A face that's crying blood. Or something. Alright, so we cracked on nut. Uh, I guess we explore the rest of this. Exactly, that's the face right there. The face on the wall. The blank face crying blood. Let me hydrate while we're in here. Well, if it ain't the pit master. Yep. Pit master herself is here. Hey, thank you. Appreciate the pause to check, Mr. Junior. I need that. I need to fix my posture. So is there anything else here? It's unlocked. Oh, that's what that red thing on the map was. Come oh, on, you want me to hydrate again? Alright. Let's hydrate to this very pleasant noise. There we go. Ow. Hold on, I need to go somewhere quiet to gather myself. The cell of where we are, what we're doing. Hey, have we got a hack emote? A personally commissioned hack emote. The queen of DBD. But there's enemies in here too now. The hag feasting. Feasting on a delicious human. What in the fuck is that thing? Okay. Out of the way. I need to go somewhere where there's peace and quiet. To figure out what we're doing here. Not really quiet in here, but it's, it's just as close as it gets. Uh, oh yeah, right, there's upstairs. We can check upstairs now. This guy's blocking the way.
What? How was that? I'm stuck. Out of the way. What? Out of here. Hey, where's the other guy? Was he really just gonna chill behind the counter? He's really gonna make me pull out that gun. Wait, oh yeah, it's in here. I'm not afraid to use this thing. Stay back, criminal. What'd you get for camping behind here? I'm still struggling to get past him. There we go. Hey, I glad you like the hack emote. One of my favorites. I think it's for 2020. <laughs> it's such a fucking debate. Uh, I can't believe I hadn't changed that for like fucking three years. I appreciate you checking out the game month schedule. But yeah, it's just this year. This year there's no real schedule because... Uh... Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, because yeah. There is a schedule, but it's not, well, there's not really many games involved. It's, it's, in Game of Month this year, it's just Silent Hill 3, then Silent Hill 4, and then we'll see what we have left. Then we'll see, like, once you finish Silent Hill 4, we'll see what day it is. If we have time for more games or not. Because the new chapter in DVD comes out on the 13th. But yeah, if we, if we finish Silent Hill 4 before the 13th, then maybe we could squeeze in another little short game. But other than that, what's on the menu for this month is Silent Hill 3 and 4. And then the DBD chapter and the new event. Where am I now? Wait, where's the door? Oh, it's the one next to it. Oh, what do you think of the new DVD chapter? You mean the one with the school merchant? That? Is that the one? No, the singularity one. Well, I can't see... I can't see anything about that one, because I... I don't know anything about it really cuz I don't I I tend to stay away from all that stuff cuz I want to experience it for myself firsthand when when the chapter comes out on console. So yeah cuz I I don't play the PTB and I don't watch I don't watch any any videos or streams on it. Yeah that, that that's that's one of the things I really enjoy the most when a new chapter comes out and you know, discovering all the new things for myself, all the perks and the, his power and whatnot. One of the things I really enjoy about DVD is discovering it all here together for the first time on stream. But also, yeah, I agree. <laughs> the past few, I mean, the past few chapters, yeah, they haven't been the most exciting with the Night and School Merchant. Especially with the way some people play those killers. They really don't play them in a fun way. Yeah, well, good, good. I don't blame you because it does seem pretty exciting. I've only seen the trailer that they put out for the new chapter. And well, it does seem pretty exciting. The whole sci-fi alien theme. And also, yeah, that, thank you for checking out the panels and everything below the stream. 
before you asking anything. Appreciate it. Someone actually checking out the panels. Amazing. Barely ever happens. <laughs> yeah, this is fucking, it's, it's so annoying. Like, oh, well, here we go. Time for a fucking 40 minute long game. Because it's just so annoying when they don't want to chase anyone. Like, all they want to do is just protect the, the free gens. They just want to protect the free gen. That's all they want to do. They don't want to chase anything. They chase someone for like 10 seconds and then bam, they go back to protect the free gen. It's so utterly boring and yeah, it lasts for so long. Which is a shame. Which is a shame. Because, yeah, her design's pretty cool. The score merchant's design. <laughs> yeah, they like the Dredge chapter and the Reska chapter, they were fucking absolutely fantastic. And then yeah, after that the Knight and Score Merchant comes out, which yeah, both were pretty lackluster. Compared to yeah, Risker and, and the Dredge. Yeah, I agree that the knight's okay. The knight's not too bad. I do like playing the knight as well. He's he's pretty fun, he's pretty cool. But also, yeah, well, you also said you mentioned the Shattered Memories. Yeah, we'll definitely get to that at some point. Just not during this marathon. We'll do another Silent Hill marathon at some point. With, like, the four other ones. With, with Origins, Shattered Memories, Downpour, and Homecoming. Yeah, but we'll do those for another... During another marathon. Which <clears throat> might be next year. We'll see. We'll see when we do that. We'll do it at some point, though. We'll be perfect to do it next year, though. So, need to buy Shattered Memory. So, we'll, we'll have fun with that one. That game is extremely pricey. Exactly. I was, I was lucky to... I was lucky to find one sealed, even. And be able to get a good deal with the guy, negotiate with him. Because he just wanted to get rid of it. I got I got really lucky. Nah, PS PS2 version. PS2. <laughs> Should I bring me the Horizon reference? <laughs> yeah, that is the name of one of the songs, right? But that's <laughs> that's actually not why how that command came to be. I forget I forget actually how that command came to be. I think it was from a game that we played that set that. I think it might have been from that AI Somnium Files game that we played. And then I just made it that command. And then, yeah, it just so happens that it's also a Bring Me the Horizon song. But yeah, no, it's, it's the PS2 version I got, Mr. Junior. I got all my Silent Hills in PS2. Except, of course, the first one. And two PS3 ones. And swore to never speak of it again. No, what happened? <laughs> you and your friend both got bored of it or tired of it because you heard it so much. Yeah, over listening to it. <laughs> Listen to it so much you get sick of it in the end. That unfortunately happens. What? 
Oh, wait, is this where I have to put the thing? God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't read all that right now. Not the time. What the fuck are these sounds? I just want a place of peace and quiet. There we go. The bathroom. Alright, also, you said about the night. Yeah, I agree. The map is fucking horrible. <laughs> the night's map is horrible. You can't see shit on that map. The light is the, uh, the color scheme they went with, they went with for that map was, is a bad idea. And plus it's also gigantic, that map. Oh yeah, he does have some cool perks too, like Hex, Phase the Darkness, I, I quite like that one. That was really fun to use some fun stealth killers. Well, how does it burn my eyes? Yeah, I agree. That map hurts my eyes too, it'll look at. I don't know what they were thinking with that one. Yeah, the map's I. Besides the shitty color scheme they went with. Then it might be a little too big too, but that's alright too. I just really wish it was a castle, though. <laughs> I still think that would have been so sick if the map was just one giant castle you were running around on. But, oh well, we didn't get that. Yeah. Like, oh man, it's such- when I first loaded into that map, it's such a- it was such a tease. Because I really thought we would get like a castle map or something, but no instead. Instead, it's, instead we got like a shattered village, medieval village, and then the exit gates. That's the castle. It's such a tease that they made the exit gate like a castle that you escape into. But yeah, man, that, that would have been so absolutely fantastic. If the map was a castle, a horror-themed castle, and then, I don't know, you... You see, like, all sorts of torture devices from the medieval ages, too? Man, that would have been so, like, cool and sick to run around with. Yeah, just, like, I mean, yeah, I guess th not the whole map has to be, like, a castle, but just some, some sort of castle we could run around in. That was in, like, the middle of the map or something. That would have been so sick. Such, such a missed opportunity, man. Maybe, who knows? Maybe they'll make a, a castle map in the future, although I kind of doubt that. Alright, let's go place this moonstone. If I can. This is probably meant for this. Is it open now? Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God, because I don't have time to read all that text on the door. The cosmetic glitch in Cheryl. Oh, but you could turn her into Gerald. <laughs> That's what people called that thing. But yeah, you, you could play as James. And like yeah, Cheryl's cosmet with Cheryl cosmetics on it was it was it was an abomination. Gerald. That's what they called that creature. I don't think there's anything here besides that thing in the middle. Add or do hell. Oh. 
not gonna get attacked, right? <laughs> I'm gonna get attacked by that mosquito creature thing. No. A card scene? We may never know what was in that toilet. I should have saved before we got here. Uh, what? Why am I here? Don't need to load already, but whatever. Reload. We're fighting Jesus or something. Oh. Didn't know he could come from behind, too. That was it? That was like way too easy. <laughs> Flashbang. Oh, everything's normal again. What? It's the shopping mall just like Am I back? You woke up from the nightmare. Empire scene. You settled for for heavy metal Jesus after they removed Jarrow. He's the one you play the most. Good old Jesus. Heavy metal Jesus. Give me my pipe back. Definitely you go to carry. That's why I like to hear him. More, more people need to play Jeff. Not a lot of people play him. <laughs> He's rarely ever seen. We usually play Dwight. Good old Pizza Dwight. Either Pizza Dwight or Rebecca now. Rebecca. Ay yeah yeah. Rebecca Chan. I don't think. I don't 
I think you need to click on anything. I have, all the doors are probably locked. Can I call my dad? Phone doesn't work. you will have our hopes. Wish I could get a hold of dad. Dad? It's the bathroom that she escaped from. <sighs> Are you good? <laughs> you get your stab in her back? I would really like a safe point. I'd feel a lot safer with a safe point right now. I'm out of here. He's still here. What just happened? You must be one of them. What did I do? And what do you mean by one of them? You're in on this with that Claudia, aren't you? Claudia? What about her? She asked me to find you, that's all. So you are one of them. Claudia did all that? Look, I was just hired to find you. I'm not on anybody's side. I don't know anything about this. Why don't you start by telling me what happened here? And that monster. What the hell was that? I don't know any more than you do. All I know is that things are getting really screwy around here and... I got a weird feeling it's got something to do with me. Maybe you're just an innocent bystander, but I, I can't feel sorry for you because you dragged me into this. You know, if you hadn't found me... What are you talking about? What's so special about you anyway? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so confused, would I? But I know there's something. for a long time. How did I remember that? What's wrong? Nothing. Where are you going? I'm taking the subway home. What should I do? I know. <laughs> Hell if I know. She says sprinting down the stairs. The subway. Hell if I know. I'm sure. I'm out of here. Time to get ourselves a sandwich. Can I go back up? I've got no use for that place anymore. I'd rather get back home on the double. You got it, Chief. Any funny advertisements? What does that sign say? The top. Nothing interesting. Is that a cat? <laughs> Kitty. Cat food. 
Jesus. Is this the right way? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I don't have a map. What's the other way? Ooh, I don't know which one is the right way and which one is the wrong way. I would like to go the wrong way. No. Seems there is no wrong way. There is only a right way. And the cat way. And the cat food way. Not the toilets again. Oh, it was his tickets. Oh, there's a phone booth. <laughs> Newspaper. The newspaper left in the tub of the ticket machine. <clears throat> Fatal accident at Hazel Street. At about 11 p.m. on the, on the fall off, a man waiting on the platform at Hazel Street Station fell onto the tracks and was decapitated by the arriving station Renata College bound train. The victim died instantly. The police have not yet determined whether the death was an accident or suicide. Witness report that the victim did not look inebriated, and seemed to jump off the platform deliberately. The victim's identity is still unknown. He was approximately 40 years old, 5 feet, 10 inches tall, and was wearing a black jacket. This newspaper is 4 months old. What's it doing here now? Who could that have been? Anyone we know? There's a subway map here. But even without looking at this, I still know my way home. I just need to get... On the Bergen State on Bergen Street train at platform three. Bergen Street platform three. This is Hazel Street. Wait, that's a phone. Dad. Oh, really? You have anything to say about that phone? Wait, what? <laughs> well, we need to go to Burger Street. Where, where is Bergen? Is it this way? <sighs> don't mind if I do. I don't need a ticket. I got my ticket right here if you ask, if anyone's asking. The pipe. Yeah, a subway map.
How oh, is this stairs here? Oh my god. You're pretending to be 15 when you forget to buy a bus ticket. <laughs> Which is like, oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, officer. I, I, I'm, 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 15, I'm 15 years old. I, I forgot. I'm sorry. My bad. I'm, I'm new to this. Uh, I promise. I'll, I'll get a bus ticket next time. Uh, but promise, officer, please. I'm 15 years old, please. <laughs> Trust me. Believe me. I'm new to this. I forgot the ticket. Yep. I believe it's the same here. <laughs> if yeah, you're in elementary school, you you get free public transport. So, I mean, as, as long as you look young, then I guess you can get away with it. <laughs> as long as you look young, you can pull off a free, free public transport. Fourteen, fifteen, 15 for way too long down. <laughs> You've been 14, 15 for the past 20 years. <laughs> yeah, tr trust me, officer. I, I know, I know I've been doing this for, I know I've said I'm, trust me, officer. I know you know me and I know I've said I'm f 14 years old for the past 10 years, but trust me, I'm still 15. I, I just never age. Please, trust me, officer. Please, please. Trust me, police man. I I just don't age, okay? <laughs> oh, almost a decade. Got a whole bunch of vampires in the chat room. Everyone's a vampire, which I guess makes sense. We got this vampire stream schedule. Nobody ages. Forever young. Everyone's cursed with youth. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, that sounds fucking hilarious. <laughs> I'll finish like right here. Hold on, ma'am. You, you dye your hair at 14 years old? Your parents let you do that? Like, yeah, of course. My, my dad, he has pink hair too. And then he's just like, ah, you know what? Okay, never mind. Forget I asked. Yeah, y you can go. You're free to go. How about? Uh, no, I don't want to hear anymore. <laughs> Wait, that's fucking funny. <laughs> My dad has pink hair. Uh, okay, no, I'm out. See ya. <laughs> Ooh, you don't have blue hair anymore. <laughs> Can't pull off that one anymore. I just feel like I have a dad has pink hair. You've never dyed your hair. Me too. I've never dyed it either. Wait, where the fuck am I? Oh, wait, so that other stat just goes off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that officer thinks your family's crazy. Probably just like, what a bunch of lunatics. What the hell? All dying in the hair? <laughs> and the dad has pink. What a bunch of lunatics. <laughs> there were phone booths, but they're all broken. Oh, but it made the ring sound. Ooh, purple red stains on the towels. Wait, 
Hey, there's a subway. What's just a sandwich? Chains holding the doll together secure with a bolt and knot. That was screwed on tight. I can't turn it with my hands. Do we even have honors? I don't even think we have that many like key items. I just <laughs> have all these Shakespeare books still. I don't have any key items. No, we're also not done exploring yet. Wait, this is open. Oh no. What horror awaits us. Oh my god. I was hoping you would keep sleeping. Or do whatever it is you were doing. Leave me alone. I know I have beef jerky on me, but please, leave me alone. <sighs> that was a lot of trash. Can't get through here. There you go, catch your breath, Cheryl. What are we doing down here? Oh, we're going even further, further into hell. Ascending further into hell. Got a nutcracker. What, why is this game so obsessed with nuts? <laughs> First the hazel nut and now nut, nutcracker thing? Nuts and bolts? They were obsessed with nuts when they made this game. Rusty and impossible to turn. This is for cracking open nuts. Back and use that on the thing on the chain. Where am I now? <laughs> How do I get back up? Wait, this. Wait, what? Huh? This takes me on the other side? Wait, what's on the other side? A dead person. Half is blocked with trash. I can't get through here. <laughs> Whoa, Cheryl, that's rude. You don't see the dead guy right there. You're just calling him trash. God damn, man. Brutal. You really don't have anything to say about the dead corpse? There's someone sleeping here. Oh, there you go. All this red stuff around here is blood. This guy's not sleeping. Why am I not the least bit surprised? I think that nightmare has numbed... I think that nightmare has numbed my senses a little. Wake up, old man! Wake up! I don't think he's waking up. He is in his eternal sleep. Alright, but now how the fuck do I get back up again? Is it here? Ah. Uh, here we are. Wait. Wait, 
Oh, it's over here, I think. We haven't had a save point in a while. Or maybe I've just ran past it. Which is probably the case. I use a nutcracker. My ride is here. God, sounds, man. So creepy. Uh, have I? I've probably ran past the save point, haven't I? I feel like I probably have. It's pretty. It's pretty easy to, for me to miss the save point in this game. This is just that simple drawn on the wall or something. Not like a, a bright red envelope from the second game. How's that? Shotgun ammo. Well, shit. Can I use that on my pipe? <laughs> Both the pipe with shotgun rounds. Oh, is this the shotgun? The gift wrap box. Should it be a birthday present? No, I guess not. Nobody I know would give me something this gross. Well, I take it anyway. It should come in handy against the monsters. <laughs> Is this someone's gift? No, well, I don't like it, but I take it anyways. It'll come in handy. Not to handle it by his great range. How much did they give me? Well, okay. the fuck are you? Out of the way, big guy. Now, what do we got here? Am I even happy now? This place, this subway is so confusing. There are steep la there are steep ladder and wheelbarrows blocking the way I can't get through. You know you could just move the cone, right? This thing. <laughs> and then you could probably get past easily. Some stuff you never notice. Ah uh, yeah, some stuff you never notice on your first playthrough. High difficulty riddles in this one. Yeah, this one is quite notorious. This one has the hardest riddles of them all. All right. Just... Yeah, but we're we're just a normal, <laughs> normal riddle difficulty. If we play the game again at some point, we'll probably try it on hard just to see the difference. Yeah, it's always nice replaying or yeah, rewatching the game you played. And you'll be able to spot new things you didn't see the first time. Some small little details. Yeah, I mean, so far, 
So far, we really only had like one puzzle, and that was that uh, the one with the Shakespeare books and the code being on like the side of the book. Really, the only puzzle we've had so far. And also, a quick question. How many endings does this one have? Does it have four, just like all the other ones? Or the first two? Oh, wait, this one just has two? Oh, okay. I'm guessing a good and a bad ending. About numbers and normal, but poems and hard. Oh fuck! What? <laughs> well, then I wish I did it on hard. I hate numbers. Numbers confuse me. Hopefully, it doesn't have anything to do with math. I guess we'll see when we get to it. Anything but the numbers. My only weakness. My only weakness, the numbers. Hello. I don't think there is anything here. <laughs> Knock the fuck out, goddamn. Oh, I can actually just. Do that? Okay. Wait. Get, get back up, Cheryl. I don't trust it. <laughs> I don't know. A ghost train might show up or something. Why can you not go up on this side? I don't trust it. Get back up. Get back up. <laughs> get me out of here. I'll just go down the other set of stairs. I don't I don't trust it. I, I don't feel safe on those stairs on that stairs uh train tracks. I'm scared that train from the newspaper might show up and get me. So let's just go down these stairs on this side. Wait, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's a full poster. I thought it was just a tiny little window thing of a band. Oh, wait, I have to be on the train tracks. Oh, hold on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Get out of my way! I don't wanna die! <laughs> Jesus. I haven't saved for so long. Get me inside this damn train. <laughs> Such a troll when you first play. It's like, oh hey, look at this doll. You have to go in here. And then the train fucking shows up and they spawn like three doggos. Oh, you get disoriented at the angles and you just... Yeah, get confused and ran over. So mean, man. Bunch of trolls, these devs. Oh man, that's so fucked up, especially if you hadn't saved in a long time. Where am I? Where's the entrance to this goddamn train? 
rocks on the other side? I don't know, I don't know. Or they are what? It's just a save point. Where even am I? Oh, that's not the map. Where the hell is this? Who designed the subway? <laughs> so confusing. Like, so yeah, what if we do the other side? Is that where it's open? Not gonna be able to be on the other side, is it? No, because yeah, no, that's not how this place works. Ugh, I don't want to go down there again. <laughs> I'm scared. I want a save point. I don't feel safe. There are so many enemies down there. I would like a save point, but at the same time, I can't be bothered to run around this whole damn confusing place to find a save point. Unless it, it just so happened to be right in here. That would be so awfully convenient if this is where the save point is. Where even am I now? Yeah, no, I changed my mind. I'm going back. I don't know. Just go back over here. <laughs> Let's go back to the train. None of the doors were open, though. Like, it was open in the cutscene, but... I didn't notice any of them being open. Let me ran by unless I have to click on them. I don't think I clicked on them. Oh, it's the very last one here. Ah, oh, there you go. Of course I didn't check the very last one. Oh, did we get the right train? Oh, yo, is that a save point? Have we been blessed? Oh, hell yeah. That symbol's drawn on the floor. Hope I don't get cursed just by stepping on it. Man, that's pretty cool. I like how creative they got with the save points in this, though. I can't really remember what it was in the first game, how you saved. But in the second game, it was just those red envelopes. Man, unless it's all these sim- it's a symbol here. Drawn on like pieces of paper, on the floor, or on a mirror. That's pretty cool. The newspaper on the seat, same old boring articles. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was a notepad. Right, 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 right. Yeah, because Harry, when you interact with it the first time, Harry's just like, Oh, I should write this down. Maybe it'll help someone out in the future or something. 
then yeah, it's a notepad, so that's right. Oh, and it's just a red square and two. Oh, I thought it was an envelope. Oh my god. No, get, get back inside. I see, I see, though. Huh, an empty juice can. Just another piece of trash. I mean, it's pretty cool in this one. Oh, it's that curse symbol right there. I don't know if it's curse, but... Cool that it's that symbol on the ground, and... It changes location. It's on a TV. It's on the mirror. It's on a piece of paper or something. Very nice. Very nice, neat little detail. They really nerfed the pipe in this game, huh? <laughs> Compared to the second game. But right, it was Omega OP. You're not dead? There we go. Yeah, in the second game, the pipe is only used. Barely ever use any guns. We played the second game. The same juice can. magazine here it's a worthless to me god damn wait did he just did it just get bigger <laughs> the other ones were smaller Small one. It took you ten days to get to Silent Hill Free, and it took me six. Yep. And now you on day fifteen. Jesus, how many days did this game take you? And, but wait, I mean, you also played this one in hard, didn't you? What, did you do this one in normal? I, I can't remember. I mean, yeah, you, you at least did one and two in hard. Compared to me who did them both in normal. is that oh it's the thing you're supposed to hold took you four days to beat it okay not that long not that long five oh that took you another five god damn well yeah did you, did you play this one on hard too how about difficulty where you're hunting this one? Oh, so wait, let me go run, let me run back and save. Just in case there's like a boss at the end of this. And then in case we die, we don't have to... Wait, what the fuck? What, huh? I'm back here? No, never mind, I guess I'm not going back to save. Oh, you did this on normal. I see, I see. Oh, and there were some days where you badly made any progress. Why? Why was that? Is it because you were, you were stuck? You didn't know where to go.
That can happen easily <laughs> in these old PS2 type of games. <laughs> what what does that say on the wall? That's rat. What does it say? Bat? I don't know. In my mind, it says rat. Rat. Ratch. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that makes sense, yeah. He took a break and watched the showcase. <laughs> the baby staggers. Three shotgun shells and a kick in the dick? Not too bad. Actually fall, but I don't think that first one counted. I don't think the first one hit him. Stay down. Oh, you're not dead. Yeah, I thought there was a bit too too few rounds. You dead now. Jesus. I think he's dead. Yeah, now he is. Yeah, that then it probably would have taken less year. Then it probably only would have taken you three days here. If it wasn't for the showcase and stuff. That's what you call that enemy, god damn. Brutal. How long is this train? I think we might be nearing the end. But taking so long to load now. Yeah, the train stopped. You have arrived at your destination. I keep accidentally skipping the text. I don't know why I keep double clicking X. <gasps> Save point. Blessed. Looks like it was just put here too. But by whom? And why does my head? Yeah. It hurts. Unknown station. The other way. <laughs> wow, Avi, am I in like a bunker now? Stuff all over. The lock is broken. 
Oh wait, it's just- Oh wait, what in the Jesus? It's these strange flying mosquitoes of hell. Oh my god, thank fuck, it opens. Saved by the door. Into another hallway of death. What the fuck? No, go back to your friends. Should have followed your friends. Gotta go! It wasn't me! I know what it looks like, but I know. I didn't kill your friend. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go! Blood. Yo, oh, is this a new weapon? Got a mouth. There's a toolbox here, but there's nothing really useful inside. How do you know? A map. An underpass map. Helmets? Should I take them with me? Nah, never mind. It's pretty geeky looking. What? That's your reasoning for not picking the the helmet? Oh what now, Cheryl? Who cares about looking like a geek when there's all these monsters around? That's blood seeping out of the bottom of the locker. Is there someone inside? I don't want to look, but the locker don't want to open. Uh, it's bad that way. So that is if there's anything good in there. It's pretty geeky looking, but you should take it for safety. It could save your life. Pretty geeky looking. What did I just pick up? Oh, the first aid kit. Pretty geeky looking. So what's this weapon like? Hmm. I mean, it probably does more damage. Like a big round pointy hammer. It's a bit heavy, but at least it's got some oomph. Hmm. RT6. Uh. Think we missed anything else in here? That dialogue is badly bent, as if something hit it very hard. As a result, it's impossible to open. Fuck, I should look at the map before I went out here. Hold on, time out. So, what the hell are we dealing with here? It doesn't, it doesn't look too complicated. It doesn't feel overwhelming like the shopping mall. I'm not gonna lie, the, the shopping mall felt kind of overwhelming to look at on the, the map. Because there are so many like stalls and sections you could go in. Oh. oh. You you didn't know if you could go in, in into all the stores or not. When you first look at the map. Why did the camera do that?
Where does this take you? This long hole that we haven't been in. Oh wait, I think there's mosquito enemies here. Oh god. Gotta go! Ow. Wait, is that something? No, there's nothing that little piece of paper on the floor. Darkness. Uh, yeah, whatever. Want to go here? Straight for us, maybe? Oh, I guess not. <laughs> right, it is then. Go left now. In this case. Oh my god. Alright, so now what? So we have two tiny rooms to the right. Uh, I feel like this one's probably gonna be locked. <laughs> oh my god, no, it actually opens. And the second one's gonna be locked. I refuse to believe that both of them are gonna be open. Are you going down there? Okay, no. The hole's full of dirty water. Can't go down there like that. James would have gone down there like that. He would have went down. He would have been down there already. He wouldn't have asked any questions whatsoever. What kind of machine is this? Looks like it doesn't work anymore. Hoist here, but how do we get it to work? Maybe the fuel change. There's nothing in it though. Gotta get fuel. Hm. All I have is still just the Shakespeare books. Oh wow, no, this one's open too. They were actually both open. I'm actually really surprised by that. It's a nice save point. Perfect. We can quickly save and then I'll be right back. Because we've been here for four hours. Got time flies when you're playing these old classic PS2 games. I just, you know, when I want to take a nice quick little break. It's too stretch out and stuff, so. Be, uh, be really quick. Yeah, really quick. I'm just gonna take a nice little break. Because we've been here for four hours without a break, so. Great platform. When we come back, we shall. Let's continue with most I hope free. But now the pink one shall keep you entertained. Maybe.
Hey. Hi. I have returned. Yeah, I, I fixed the penguin game. So I hope the penguins kept you entertained. We just saved. Saved on the console that's stuck in the year 2000. There's some kerosene left in the heater. It looks like if I had some sort of container, I could take it with me. What kind of machine is this? It looks like it doesn't work anymore. Hey, more health. Gotta be something important on the desk, right? Like shotgun ammo. Handgun ammo. It's just one of those daily racks. Something really useful written in it. I guess filled with junk. Oh. No, it's not junk. It looks like there's some somebody's stuff. Something scribbled all over the blackboard. But it's faded and hard to read. It doesn't look important anyway. Oh thank god. <laughs> I was scared that we were about to do some like chemistry thing or something. give us like a chemistry puzzle or something we we're gonna have to solve. Mm, yeah, really there's no like important note on the on the table or anything. Fire extinguisher. I don't really need to take that. Why not? Use that as a weapon though. Yeah, but yeah, since we just picked up like and click the net everything, let's just save again. <sighs> Alright, but yeah, so we need some type of container for this thing in here. Right. And then well yeah, there is a few in the other room. It's not dolls, right? You know. Didn't actually expect that to be open. I think it's open. Oh, bleh. Excuse me. Where is this little thing? Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? You can't hit. You can't hit it. You can't reach it. I gotta get out of this room, man. I'm just getting bullied in here. It's fine if we die, though, because we just. Sleep. Jesus Christ. Uh. Okay. Well, I mean, there is something. There's some areas. There's some areas on the other side we didn't we didn't get get through. I didn't check rather. How much health do I have? It's unread. How many 
healing rings do I have? Three. You know what? If we if we die running through this, it's fine. Just, and like I said, we just saved. So wouldn't be too bad actually. Wouldn't be too bad if they hit me. Even if we die here, it's okay. Wait, no. Can I just keep running? Running down. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Can I just keep running down this way? I think, right? There's no fens or anything. Oh, there is. Damn it. <laughs> we do have to go all the way around. Because I don't think this mace is that good. At least I can't. Not against the flying guy. Maybe those small enemies that might be good. Now let's actually heal up. I should wait. Is this the wrong way? yeah? This was the wrong way. <laughs> it's this way. Now, I think I need to go left. What have we got down here? Have we been in this room? Where in the universe am I now? No, okay, this is new. Alright, what have we got? Trick and handgun ammo. Wine in a place like this? Well, I suppose it is dark and dry. Only one of the bottles is empty. Got a wine bottle. Oh, well, there you go. We got the thing for the... For the thing. <laughs> for the thing in the other room. Then might as well check what's at the end, too. Hey, little guy. Hey, big guy. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Quick, get out of there. There's a death trap. Okay, so, well, I got the wine bottle. There's still that place in the middle I can check out. Yeah, all right. Oh god, camera please. Right, yeah, what's what is this just a dead end down here? No, there's actually something. Oh, is this well, it's just another hall, I guess, to go through. 
but there is some type of room at the end. Yeah, this way and then to the right. Right here. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I went through all of that to get over here. Because I wanted to see what was in this little room here. It turns out the door's broken. It's fucking locked. But that was all for nothing. Let's just go back with our wine bottle then. Which, what way do we want to go? We want to go through this door. And why do we want to go here? We want to go left. Actually, what is at the end here? Okay, it's a lock. Okay, thank God. I'm glad I checked that now. <laughs> so I don't know. I have to worry about that later in case we need something or I get stuck. I have to run all the way back here again just to check on a locked door. Okay, now what? Is this a sh No, we had the left here. Now this is the really loud room with the mosquitoes. Which... You just take the first door on the left. Now this is the really long room, I think. Yep, sure is. Okay, now what? Now I'm lost again. <laughs> nah, just to the right. Lost and confused. Dazed and confused. You hate HDR. What is HDR? Is that like setting on your console? Like graphic setting? Is that what you're talking about? I put kerosene in the wine bottle. Got an oil filled bottle. Oh no, it gave you a headache because of how bright it was. Oh god, yeah, that's not good. That's not good. I'm gonna rest a little. Drink some water. Make the headache go away. What I see. You turned it on and it made everything bright. Is that what that does? I've never used HDR before. It just makes everything bright. Turns everything into the sun. Oh, I see. So yeah, okay. Makes sense then why. <laughs> yeah, then it just made everything go mega bright since you already have. Low brightness. I see. Interesting. So, I guess that's just to make it look better or something. I 
Yeah, exactly. You normally you're normally used to the low brightness, but then yeah, when you turn it on, everything became super bright all of a sudden. Yeah, that's quite the quite the big the big gap. Not the big change, rather. Carousel in the fuel tank. Might be the fuel tank, but I've put Carousel in it already. Should work now. Like a hoist on enough smoke. What a hoisting. Yeah, that's perfect. You came back here, Mr. Dante, to this really dark game where you can't see shit. Help make the headache go away. Thanks to that thing, all the water's finally drained out of the hole. Looks like I'll be able to get down there now. If I can stand the smell, that is. Oh, let's go. You didn't just jump down there this time. Hello? Oh, this is what we did. Let's see where the water gets drained out. That sound. <laughs> You're running around here. Sticky sound. Oh. Yes, sir. I'm looking for Llewellyn Moss. Did you go up to his trailer? Yes. Yeah, I'd say he's at work. Do you want to leave a message? Where is he work? I can't say. <laughs> Where does he work? Sir, I ain't at liberty to give out no information about our residence. <laughs> Where does he <it> work? <laughs> Did you not hear me? We can't give out no information. Where does he work? Where Sir, does he work? Where does he work? I can't say. Do you want to leave a message? Where, Where does he work? work? Sir. Where does he work? Yeah, you, you, you go ask the darkness. Go into the darkness. Maybe they know where he works. Where does he work? Yeah, where does he work? Does, does anyone know? Does anyone know where he works? So please, if so, then please tell that man. He would like to know where he works. Cool shot. Lingle. To the toilet. Of course, yes. The toilet. The toilet, Watson. Yeah, that's how you knock on the door. Oh no, not the sewers. Anything but the sewers. Oh fuck! Wait, I can go down here? I think I'd be able to do that. Do I have a map of this place? Oh, I do. Oh, it's just this here. Okay.
Hey man. How's it going? What is happening? I know it. <laughs> Turn on the lights. It's, it, it's just really dark down there in the sewers. There you go. Now there's light. Now you can see, right? We turned on the sun again. Oh, you can see that corpse down there. A monster or whatever it is. I did try and miss with the brightness settings here, but I don't know, it just makes it too much. I didn't miss with it again, I'm sure. And like, if we do like this, I don't know, that just becomes too much. <laughs> That might be okay. Oh wait, now it's black and white. <laughs> you gotta you gotta wear your shades if I max this out. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, no, that ain't that's not gonna help anyone. Now that on the other hand, now that that's much better. <laughs> Perfect. Perfection. <laughs> Steven Dodgers. Steven approves. Can't see shit. Maybe I like that's okay. What is this? Wait, does that actually help? Uh, that should make some more like orange. Uh, yeah, I think this is like as best as it's gonna get, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this? Oh, this helps. There you go. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? That helps. Yeah, how, how does that look? That doesn't look bad, right? That that did help. That did help a little bit, right? Now that's a lot of garbage. Okay, now the. The white bright text is just really bright. Where the hell did it all come from? I guess this is all the stuff that gets tossed out into the sewers. Hold on, now the now now we're just getting flesh banged by the text. <laughs> Maybe like that. That might be okay. Just wasting my time looking around here. I better get going. Even so, it really stinks. It's going straight from my nose to my head. Healer. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, where does it say that? Oh, right there. Healer. <laughs> the fuck would that translate to? Sauce? Would that translate to sauce? Look at Discord. What's on Discord? I can't look at Discord right now. Ah, yeah, it does translate to souls. Yeah. Of course, we're playing this 1080p by 59 frames. Not 60. 59. 1080p is 2 game. <laughs> Got a dryer. What the hell am I going to do with a hat dryer? Wait, what's happening? What are, what are, what am I looking at in your disco? Oh, I see. oh my god. I see. I'm just wasting my time looking around here. Better get going. Even so, it really stinks. Go straight for oh, it's just saying same thing again. Now how you well, I mean, if you want to get in trouble with the emote artist, then go. Oh, it's another Omega buff here. Broken clock. This is from the sewer too. 
I would I would personally advise not not having it on your Discord server. But yeah, that's it was against the toss. What kind of machine is this? It looks like it doesn't work anymore. I'm playing at 160p. The true authentic retro experience. I could I can't I can't go to 160p unfortunately. I can only go down to 720p. Wait, hold on, let me gotta close this one thing here again. Close down Discord so it doesn't this is not blocking the chat for me. There we go. Yes, it in your private server. Well, can do that because yeah, I mean, I would, I would strongly advise that not stealing the emo like that. Strongly advise the because the emo artist is not going to be very happy about it. Thing that looks useful in the cowboy box. The deodorant side, but it would probably be a waste of energy. Yeah, which I would strongly advise removing it from your server. Since it was since it was me that commissioned it. It's meant for it's meant for me. For my personal use. On my Discord and on my Discord server and Twitch channel. Just did it. Thank you. I appreciate it, Mr. Junior. Appreciate it, kind sir. Thank you for understanding. Better get going. You can't even turn on the machine. I guess there's nothing. Wait, what is that? Crash oh, in the clock again. Right, that's all I ever came from. Let's check out the other door. See if it works. It does. Jesus Christ. So loud. Oh, it's a save point. And another eel. I think I have interesting written on the blackboard. Doors are open, but it's only filled with boring document. Nothing interesting. Gosh, he's so fucking brutal. It's not boring. Nothing interesting. And most of the things you click on. Is this a security monitor? I can't see anything. It must be broken. Danger. Keep out. This is probably posted on that door there. I see where it fell off. The boss fight. They're going to the flaws. They don't look like they have anything to do with me. They've got today's date on them. That's weird. What about this open book? 
Nothing written on the notebook. There's a monster in the water. Perhaps I killed two of my buddies. But never I doubted that old urban legend about alligators in the sewer. That's no myth. But no one believes me. They were drunk and slipped. We're not that damn stupid. Even calling it a monster isn't quite white, right? This is something else. All I know is things in there. I'm going in now to beat that thing's head in. If you find this note, consider it my will. Wrench is futile. So you may think, reading this. Jose and Jan J J J what? Jamie were my best buddies. I wish I knew how to do the deed. Guns won't work on the water. Even my famous knife work won't do much. If only I had a hand grenade. Oh. Hand grenade, huh? Do I have to find the hand grenade? Craft my very own hand grenade? Let's save. Because I feel like it might be insta death walking in there. Not walking through the door. Have a look at the map again, though. I mean, hmm, I guess. Let's, let's try the door first. That'll be here. I need to keep out. Open the door. <laughs> Don't look at the sign. Ignore the danger sign. Just go in. Yeah, that's a lot of blood. Bins the deaf. Delicious Cheryl meal. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling that would have been an that would be an insta death. Still wanted to try it though. Not time to find a hand grenade. I'm gonna go craft our own hand grenade from scratch. have a whole lot of options here uh well i guess we're going back yeah so please you're blocking the door She can't get up. Is he gonna get up? Is he he's gonna get up once I get up there. I fucking knew it. But also, I don't really have any. I have a fucking hand dryer. I found this storage garbage dump. It's still usable though. Well, I'm, I'm still going back in. But what the fuck? Where? We use a hair dryer. Wait, 
Surely the ha surely the hair dryer can't be used as a hand grenade, right? Surely not. Wheelchair? Why would a wheelchair be thrown out here? I don't think I clicked on that before. What about the radio? Where has it come from? Didn't have anything to say about the radio? It doesn't work anymore. What the hell? In the world would we use a hairdryer? On that hatch? I mean, I never get to read what that said. But we interacted with the hatch. I never get to read the text. Maybe, but... How would she use the hairdryer over there? There's no place to, like, plug it in. Use that here. What in the world? <laughs> oh. I mean, I guess. Well, for shot, I guess to try and go back and look at the hatch. Oh yeah, no, that's the door that was locked down there. Right, right. Well, yeah, I guess I'll go back and look at the hatch. I guess I'll kill the enemies. <laughs> and then we can read what it says on the hatch. The fucking dog down here. gonna be fun to go into that room there's a mosquito and that giant enemy and a whole lot of loud noises because yeah, the, the hatch is the only thing that's in this area i'm pretty sure we've like clicked an interactive and done everything else there is to do here i'm pretty confident at least Pretty confident we screw up through this entire area. Except we have the hatch here. Hey, well, Bajake, I think it must be rusted shut. No. But what, it doesn't work at all? You knock me over? If we die here, it's fine. Because then we can get back to that other place fast. Don't have to run through everything. Kill me! Thank you. That way we can get back to the other 
area fast. Go back here, just like that. What if I look around in here? Is this still gonna kill me? Hold on. There's an outlet here. Oh my god. There's an outlet here? You can't be serious. This is actually where I have to use the hairdryer. Oh my fucking god. What? E you see. I like to cure it to fool. <laughs> what the fuck? Really? How convenient there's an outlet here for the hairdryer. The dryer is plugged into the outlet. Actually, it seems like the, this dryer has a longer cord than usual. <laughs> what? Defeated by a hairdryer. Well, if it works, it works. What kind of valve could this be? If that's anything important, I'll just leave it alone for now. Oh. Some com complicated machine here. It's not on or anything. I'll leave it alone. Touch the blood stained door. Let's check this room here on the left. Or not, I guess. The drum is in the way. There's something inside. I doubt I can move it. You know, you could just step over the, the drum, right? And open the door. Unless it opens towards you, then I guess you can't really, but yeah. You could just, you know, step over the drum. Where am I now? Oh. Good go right here. But what's the eerie sound? I don't, I don't I think that's a debate. There's nothing down here. No, or maybe it's not a debate. This is also blocked off. I, I, I don't want to hop down here. Get me out of here. Going even further down. Jesus Christ. At this rate, we're going to end up in like the Earth's core or something. <laughs> going down so far. Into the underground.
Where are we now? We're not on the map, that's where we are. Oh, how to bounce. Can't get in, there's an iron grate blocking the way. Stuff all over, but definitely nothing worth bringing along. Really. Really now. I have a box doesn't have anything useful in it. Ladder time. Dirt. What are we outside? Save point. I want to run top of the barrel. Construction site. Should have picked up that safety helmet earlier. Why are you so obsessed with that? That's nothing. No more heels. Nope. It's paint cans in the box. I guess you use it on the walls. I don't need it, that's for sure. You sure you don't... You, don't, you sure you don't feel generous and feel like painting the walls really quick? Electricity is off. The elevator won't work. Any secrets? The bags are some men or something. Piled up under the stairs. <clears throat> I don't particularly feel like locking these heavy things around. I doubt I could use them anyway. Bonk of creepy noises. Added some L emotes. I, I saw that. You added some <clears throat> Last of Us emotes. Very nice. Her level ceiling has crumbled. For safety's sake, entry is forbidden. Oh, I don't care. I'm probably still gonna go up there. But that's nice. You're keeping your... Keeping your Discord fresh with some new emotes. Both level four is crumbled. Joshua type. 
many flaws is this damn building? The top floor. The only accessible one. Hold on. Let me hydrate before we advance. Uh, there we go. Elevator. The bathroom. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <clears throat> the sounds in the scheme. The plain old wash bin. Nothing special about it. Jesus, man. I thought that was in real life again. I was like, what the fuck's happening? Am I knocking out my walls? <laughs> On the door? God, man. The sound design is so fucking good in these games. The toilet. I thought this building was still under construction, but it looks like it's, this has been used. <laughs> man, yeah, imagine hearing that back in the day. When this come out, like, 2003 or something. Just hear all that like banging. So it was like someone's banging on your walls. Oh man, fucking creepy. Amazing. What is this? It looks like people live here. Those empty bottles and cans. Look like somebody was living here. Exactly what I was saying. I'll take their handgun ammo though. Oh, a filthy mattress. You, you drop it into the hole? No. Question mark? Why would I drop it into the hole? What is that going to accomplish? A little home made of a cab of boxes and old blankets. I guess a squatter was living here. Okay, so I'm going to go kick uh, the mattress into the hole for whatever reason. Okay. All right. Well, there goes the mattress. Yep. My, is, is she going to hop down and land on the mattress? Is that what we're doing here? Is that what's going on? <laughs> that is what we're doing, you see. What the fuck? Okay. I mean, if it works, it works. Good thing it didn't land on the spike, the mattress. What's this funky music now? Oh wow, I can actually go out here? Oh my god, immediately get me back inside, what the fuck?
an enemy in here now. Who is it? Show yourself. Yeah, you don't want a second fight, uh, I'm gonna go back outside. <laughs> You're gonna actually fall off, goddamn. Oh, that works. Let's get a chance to explore both the inside before going outside. God, we would have been set back so much if I didn't save right there at the barrel. Imagine if I didn't see that. Imagine if I just immediately went for the door. Yeah, because yeah, this is not really that far back at all. Let's go kick the mattress down the hole again. Let me get out. Ooh, wait, is that something? Go in here just for fun again. So good, man. The sound design. It's so realistic. This sounds like someone, I don't know, banging on your walls. Or walking... Uh, walking on the floor above you. Right, it was just a handgun ammo on the health drink, I think. So let me, let's see, what's back here first? Oh, nothing. Well, I guess we'll go left this time. Just lead to another building? Another building that's under construction? What the fuck? This is like an actual building. The, ta the tabletop is covered with papers. I don't see anything that might come in handy though. It's a mannequin catalog. I guess this is the reception area for a mannequin company. Mannequin company? What? What? What, what the fuck? The thermal carafe. Something inside. It's a couch. Cover box filled with mannequin catalogs. Anyways, I don't need that. Are you sure you don't want to browse some mannequins? You never, never know when you're going to need a mannequin. Miss Cheryl. 
The lock is broken. I can't open the door. Yes, this is really it looks like it's a door, but it's What is this? The waiting room? It's a room I don't want to go go into right now. That's that's what it is. Mannequin body. I know it's not real, but it's still creepy. He's a mannequin with no head or legs. Wait. You know, it's just an inanimate an object, but I'm still a little nervous. Great, maybe. I'm gonna come to life. Cover box is filled with arms and legs of mannequins. Use the leg as a, as a weapon. Box is filled with mannequin hits. I think I'll pass on this one. But that one is creepy. This is the only mannequin with a head. I think weird about it. The headless ones. If they can still see me or something. Ew. <laughs> Ted is the only note noteworthy thing about it. It's just a mannequin. Welcome to the chat room. Thanks, Twitch. <laughs> Jesus. <gasps> That was fucking creepy, man. That actually got me. I have, I wanted to open the inventory because it's like, right, what kind of key items do we have at this point? Holy fuck, man. The mannequin's fucking dead. No, not the mannequin. This. <laughs> this, this is blood. Oh man, this game is so great with its jump scares and little scares like that. Absolutely amazing. Did I check the other door? No, I didn't. Letting them make some choices so you don't fuck it up, of course. I mean, of course. <laughs> Otherwise, why would they hire? The Otherwise, why would they get the guy to work on the game? <laughs> then, if he's not gonna, you know, listen to his inputs. Man, the sound, the sound design is gonna be so great. Hopefully, <laughs> and be full of little scares like that little mannequin right there, and random realistic knocking. <laughs> It really helps though. look. I mean, that, that's, some, that's some of the things I really like the most about these games. Besides the like creepy, creepy music, creepy eerie ambient music. I played the shit out of it. I believe it. I believe it. I mean, he is hoping that it turns out good. Like, I mean, I'll, I'll probably like it, but, man, I, I really hope that it turns out good, that people like it. Otherwise, if, if Silent Hill 2 Remake turns out bad, then, oof, man, I think that might be it for Silent Hill. <laughs> Although, I mean, there still is that new Silent Hill game, Silent Hill F, and that other game made by the people that made Stories Untold, and Observer, that I'm also looking forward to. Yeah, they'll probably be done as well, blooper. I mean, I'll, like I said, I'll probably end up liking the game, because I really like the blooper games. 
that we played. We played all of them. Except from Layers of Fears 2 and The Medium. Other than that, I've liked the games that we played from them. Like Blair Witch, Observer, the first Layers of Fear. It is. It definitely is. It's make or break both for the uh, blooper team and for the Silent Hill franchise. Not completely, but kind of at the same time. Because if this remake turns out bad, then I don't think many people are going to be too interested in... I mean, yeah, be too interested in the other ones that are coming out. They might even cancel the new one if the remake turns out not that good. Same thing with the new Metal Gear Solid remake. If that also turns out bad and nobody likes that, then I think it's pretty much game over for that as well. And then they're just going to go back to that Pachingros. Like, alright, we gave it a shot. We fucked up. It was bad. Back to gambling, boys. It, it's pretty scary, man. <laughs> it's pretty scary. Pretty scared just as like a spectator or as a fan, you know, looking forward to the games and hoping that they turn out good because otherwise it's probably game over. Imagine the devs, <laughs> they're probably nervous as well. Like, oh god, man, this is it. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on us. These are some pretty, pretty hefty franchises that people have been wanting to return on for so long. And it's finally happening, and if we fuck it up, then well, it might be game over for good. Yeah, even as a fan, it's, it's interesting and scary. Just to see how it all turns out, you know? Hopefully it turns out well. Hopefully they can be just like Capcom and... You know, have amazing remakes. We'll see. Like that, like, you know, with the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake... I saw something that they're going to reuse the lines from, like, they're not going to record any new lines. They're just going to reuse all the lines from the original. And Man, that, that, <laughs> that sounds scary. Sounds a bit sketchy. I have, I really wonder how that's going to work out and how, how that's going to feel. Hopefully, it just blends in perfectly and doesn't sound out of place. We'll see, though. Either way, yeah. It's make it, it, it's make a break for both of the Konami franchises. If they both fuck up, then I'm pretty sure those two games are sealed for good. Those two franchises. The game over for good. And then they're just gonna focus on Castlevania. <laughs> And go back to Pachingos. Hello, doggies. I mean, you that'll probably be something. Be on the eighth at Summer Game Fest. Desk is all cluttered up. It doesn't look like there's anything I'm interested in. Lots of papers, but none of them are important to me. <gasps> oh, and a map. Hilltop sand. That office building map. I think that wrong thing again. Well, what do you mean? Like I want show showcase or?
New establishment in Osaka, Japan. Osaka, Japan. Hey, but what do, you, what do you mean by own thing? Like, they own studio and stuff? Own game dev studio? I pay a transmission or something. I, uh, I don't remember. I, I kind of doubt that, <laughs> to be honest. I feel, if anything, I feel like it's just going to be... Well, if, as any, if anything, I feel like... We're just going to get something at Summer Game Fest and that's it. I'd be really surprised if there's a transmission. I'd be really surprised by that. Hello, doggies. Oh, the big guys in here. There ain't nothing here except for some hangers. Oh, there's a chance of them. Do you want to dance around the chair? We just saved. Eleven PM. Wait, if it's eleven PM for you, what time is that for me then? Is that like four or five in the morning? If so, then definitely not. Nah, man, I'm good. I'll pass on that one. 16. Yeah, and I'm... No, ain't no way I'm staying up till 6 a.m. to watch like an hour. Maybe not even like an hour, like a 30 minute long IGG stream. Nah, man, I'm good. I'll, I'll just catch up tomorrow on the news. You, you'll hit me with the debrief tomorrow, the day after. Nah, man, I'm good. I'll be in bed by then. <laughs> So late, but I mean, that's because they're from Japan, obviously. That's why the time is all strange like that. They might show judgment free. Well, if that's the case, you'll hit me with the debrief the next day. I'm, I'm good, man. I'll pass on that one. Nothing of interest in the look. <laughs> okay, uh, I mean, that's, yeah. It's because they're from Japan, doing it. Prime Japan hours, I'm guessing, that's why. The time is all fucked up for the rest of the world. Yeah, I mean, it's okay, I don't mind it. I don't mind missing out on that. I'd feel just, yeah. You'll hit us with the debrief the day, the day after. <laughs> The calendar of entries written in it. Say the 16th. Hold on, let me check really quick. Did I? I don't think I added that to the schedule thing here. The schedule thing on Discord. Yeah, no, it's not on there. Oh, well, that's a good thing. <laughs> Cause ain't no way, man. I'm not we're not staying up for that. The new DBD chapter has to be really good for us to stay up till six AM to watch that.
Speaking of time, what time is it right now? It's about o'clock into four in the morning. Okay. Whole office, but also, yeah, wait, yeah. summer game fest that's on the 8th. Is that like already? Is that that's already next week, isn't it? Hold on, let me check the calendar real quick. Yeah, it's already next week. Bad in. Well, in a week from now, if you're still. In the past, oh, six days if you're from the future, like me. <laughs> Let me, I might die in here again, but that's fine. Let me just check this chair in the middle of the room. Okay, never mind, there's nothing in the chair in the middle. Open the door. <laughs> Don't rate the sign. Open the door. <laughs> the elevator doors open a little. Space is too narrow to be, uh, to be abused, though. Oh, well, that's underwhelming. <laughs> oh, I guess not. I was like, oh, what is this? A new room be found? But then there's just the stairs. Elevate. There is a one door I didn't get to check in there. Of course it's one. How many, how many floors is this building? Six fucking floors. Jesus. Wait, what schedule? If you go to Discord and you see the to-do list channel. Then you scroll to the top of it. The third thing is something called schedule activities. That that's the schedule. Right? Maybe I should make that its own channel. Because I feel like it's kinda hidden in there. I feel like it's kinda hidden in the to-do list channel. People might miss it. I might not even know that's there. Yeah, that's that's the schedule. That's oh, nice. Very nice.
What's Twisted Masquerade? <laughs> That's funny you should ask that. That's, uh... It's the anniversary event in DBD. That cleaning goods here, there's not much I can do with them. <laughs> An end transmission. That's the name of the next chapter in DVD. The name of the nearest chapter in DVD. And yeah, it comes out on the 13th. <laughs> I specifically just named it that. You know, the name of the event and the name of the chapter. And not putting DVD. I specifically <laughs> did that on purpose. <laughs> to confuse people so they're like, wait, what is that? Wait, what's a Twisted Masquerade? And what's an end transmission? Well, what's that? Is that like a new game or something? <laughs> Giving people false hope that it might be like a new game or something that we're going to play. And then it just turns out to be DBD. How uh, evil. Giving people false hope like that. Push the button where the other won't come. Is it broken or something? Yeah, there you go. That, that, that's what those two things are. <laughs> AMN Auto Parts. Oh, can't get a new... Can't find a mechanic. Why did that down sound so heavy? It's like gas registration notebook on the reception desk. I think I can ignore it for now. Title is Repressor Repressor of, Memory of Memories. What the hell kind of title is that? I don't get this picture at all. Is it 351 for me right now? Uh Fuck. What's the command again? Nightbook. Help me. Oh, wait, it is that. Why didn't it work? There you go. I didn't work the first time. That's true. There you go. If you're ever in doubt at what time it is or day it is, then there you go. Exclamation mark what day it is. Looks like there was a picture here before. Only the caption's still around. Flame purifies all. Flame, eh? Well, I don't know what kind of picture it used to be here. Yeah. I'm not too far under the fire. It's scary somehow. There's a prize written here. Let's see. Five thousand? Man, what a world. <laughs> I know, right, Cheryl? Little did you know, your game was going to be worth millions in the future. Well, that's a bit too much, but you know. You, it's a pricey game that you're in, Cheryl. Now, this is a calm, relaxing picture. Mountain. Nice and simple. Ceramic pot. Not really my style. Too big to use as a face. Ain't a plate here. Nothing special. What is this art gallery tall that we're on now? Uh, I want to go back in and check that little room. Oh. 
I guess we're not checking that little room. Wait, what? Got a katana. <laughs> what now? Katana, but I don't need another one of these. I think one is plenty. Too much stuff would just slow me down. I need a crowbar to open this crate. I just forget about this. No, use the katana on it. The fuck am I gonna do with that katana? We go from hair dryer to katana. Oh, from Shakespeare books to a hairdryer to katana. Wait, I can use katana as a weapon? <laughs> what? I thought it was like a key item. Samurai Cheryl. What the fuck? There's a bunch of paintings here. I don't know much about art, but I don't think these would be of any use. Screwdriver. That's certainly a key item. Uh, uh, could that be used in the elevator? <laughs> Get tired. Sorry for yawning. A little thing here, a sign. Can you not read it? Oh, Gallery of Fine Arts. There you go. Eerie music, it's just these little guys. Stand back. Samurai Cheryl is he. How is that one not dead? Wow, they all died right next to each other. Died as a family. Oh, yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think so. Got a jack. Oh. Oil and foil, stuff like that. I can't use any of it. That's probably for the elevator right there. Open the doors. Uh, 
I assume. Hmm, I wonder, I wonder if that's also with the screwdriver. The jack and the screwdriver. Maybe. It's unlocked. Okay. What? Oh no, I'm on this side. Oh. <clears throat> still, there's still two more rooms to go through. And then there's the room with the big guy, with the people fat guy. Save that for later in case we actually actually have to go in there. But on that, we've went through this entire floor. Here, though. The doggos disappeared from here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where the enemies were, right? Where those doggos were? Uh, this way, right? Way to the save. Because I think we'll we'll call it that for now. Let's stop there for now. Getting pretty tired, so yeah, we'll call it that for now. Then tomorrow, <clears throat> oh hold on, we shall explore the rest of the floors before we go mess with the other wheel. Yeah, I think that sounds like a plan. Step there for the night.